one minute. T minus 50 seconds. T minus 40 seconds. Minus thirty seconds. T minus twenty seconds. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Hey, 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 what is up, everyone? How you all doing? Welcome back. Welcome back to the crypt. I am your humble host, Draven. And I was thinking, I know I normally don't go live Wednesdays. I used to. Um, but I was thinking, I don't have any type of documentary style on the, uh, on the channel. So I figured that would be a good idea. Uh, I asked, a, I asked a, someone. A buddy of mine uh where's a good place to, to uh start off and he recommended a channel they're in the description called ernie berkowitz uh they made this a couple weeks ago but it there's uh many many videos and they're pretty long so if you guys actually like this um you know i will do more videos of this because i figure this way you know and again it's not to harass or bully uh the goblin <laughs> you know of course not it's to have uh what you call it so people can learn, right? So people can learn about him and everyone. And I just think that that could be a whole lot of fun. So let me just start it. And I hope everyone's having a great day. I said that. And just please like up the video. I try to get 100 a video. Um, like up the video if you can. And sub if you're not. And let's get into this. Um, but yeah, uh, I think this will be really, really cool. Um, this way we get a whole background of his... Um, life so let's get into it without further ado guys and like i said thanks for hanging out with me in this impromptu wednesday and like i said if you do guys like it and i get good reception on this one uh i'll keep going there's there's a, a lot more so um i hope you like it let's get into it The definition of insanity is doing the same thing over and over and expecting different results. Don't fucking floor your bitch ass! Show your ass up! Show your ass up, bitch! You can either learn from your mistakes and attempt to better yourself, or find yourself locked in a never-ending cycle of failure and despair. And that was, um, that was his ex, um, Hannah. So I guess that's the one that passed away. No, I'm seeing this dude run his mother. Hey, Marty. Oh, oh. He's no, so I'm seeing this dude run his mother. No, I'm seeing We're tired of hearing it out here right now. In the following video, we will be discussing an individual who, for the past several years, has opted to repeat this vicious cycle. What the fuck is wrong with you? You don't listen. Shut up! He's been called several things. Lol cow. I cut shit off, bitch! I cut my damn dick off for your enjoyment! What? Lol cow. <laughs> Good thing it's funny, like you don't think it's funny scrolling my life. Predator. What the fact that you sent a pick to what you saw with a 43. Play, 43. I know a lot of real fucking gangsters. And the motherfuckers I know who don't want to fuck with, bro. Goblin. Really, you guys? I Goblin. Lost my best friend <laughs> of 17 years. The self proclaimed king of Akron. You guys turned me into someone I didn't want to be. Allow me to introduce to you Cyrax. What about, uh, Pito? Chance James Finley Wilkins was born in Bellingham, Washington on September 20th, 19- James Finley. Well, I mean, I, I like that better. James, I like James, I think, is better than Chance, but, you know. 1990. He was born in poor health, seemingly very premature, and appeared to suffer from some type of progeria or fetal alcohol syndrome. Chance's exact conditions have not been definitively confirmed. On the day he was born, Chance was adopted by his biological grandmother, Sally. This was seemingly due to the fact that his biological parents were either unfit or unable to take care of the child. This would quickly prove to be true, as his mother, Connie, who was mentally handicapped, burned her home down while attempting to use an old wood stove. She was killed in the- Oh, that's what happened. Okay, no, you know what? I heard so many conflicting stories, and you know, I'm gonna have to pause it, of course, to make it transformative and kind of make it my own. Uh, but, uh, 
At first, I heard uh, it was a cigarette accident, like she threw a cigarette in a garbage can. Then I heard it was uh, a meth thing. And then I heard it was on purpose to collect insurance money. I've heard so many things. But um, her like being like a dumbass and can't use a wood stove, I, I, could, I could totally see that. The blaze. The exact date that this occurred is unconfirmed, but it is said to have happened when Chance was very young. His father, Rupal Mark Smith, was arrested in 1994 for the of a 14-year-old girl on a bike path near his home. The incident occurred on July 26th, and Rupal was arrested two days later after accidentally turning himself in. Good! His friends saw the police sketch with a suspect on the news and informed Rupal that it looked like him, which led to him contacting the police station to clear his name. A warrant was issued- Clear his name! I love that. Dude, how you get- How you get clear your name? How about clearing your conscience? ...and a bike matching the tire tracks left by the suspect was found at his residence. Rupal was convicted in 1999 and sentenced to 20 years in prison. Oh, wow. Okay. So that's, yeah, okay. So no wonder why, uh, no wonder why he's out. Seems but seriously, be- people like this, I feel like they should be, you know, I mean, they also have to be a, what, what, a S offender, um, uh, forever. But don't, you know, I feel like more types of counseling and maybe some sort of medication. So there's the thing that they hurt people with doesn't work should also be, uh, <laughs> implemented. But that's my opinion. This behavior ran in the family as it was later discovered that Chance's biological grandfather had married Sally when she was 14, and he was in his mid-twenties. Oh, Chance and his grandfather, <laughs> Look at him. <laughs> referring to as mom, moved around a lot for the next several years, as her partner was in the military. Unfortunately, not much is known about this period of time. Still got them shoulders. In the mid-2000s, Chance and his grandmother would settle in Akron, a city located in Ohio near Cleveland. At some point, a man named Ed, who Chance refers to as his stepdad, joined them in Akron but I was unable to confirm whether or not he was the same partner Sally had had during the years prior. In early 2008, the family's house was burglarized. Whether or not Chance was home or what was taken is unknown. In early two- Yo, You guys see that though, um, with the house? See, that's the same house. I mean, I'm just trying to point out, you know, uh, something. Uh, I guess it went from a front opening to like a side style. And again, I've heard conflicting stories. One story was to make sure if someone is going to burglarize them, they can't come straight on. But to me, I would think sideways would be an easier path to steal. And I kind of like the little lattice there. I don't know why they got rid of that, but uh, I don't know. This was burglarized. Whether or not Chance was home or what was taken is unknown. In early 2009, Chance created his first YouTube channel. He would spend the next few years uploading beats and anime music videos. Much of this content has been lost, as Chance has a habit of deleting his channels and creating new ones. The only other significant occurrence in 2009 involved Chance being expelled from Garfield High School after allegedly sexually assaulting a blind classmate named Billy during a sleep. Oh, poor blind Billy. So here we go. So that's, <laughs> is, yo, is that Cyrax on the cover? <laughs> no, I'm kidding. No, I'm not. Uh, enter to learn. Yeah. Yo, that almost looks like his face right there. Creepy. Poker. Chance would later attempt to claim that, in fact, it was the other way around and that Billy had assaulted him, despite Billy being the one who had reported the incident to the school and Chance being the one who ended up... Exp- Wait, his grandma is his mom? Uh, yeah, she... Um, well, no, his, 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 his real mom uh, passed away. Uh, she had an, an accident and uh, with, the, with the stove. And his grandma, Sally, that he, he calls that his mom... But basically, I guess that was his mom. Like, that's all he remembers type of thing. Expelled. More on this later. Chance would subsequently attend East High School in Akron. The earliest video of Chance's that I could locate is this one, from January 2011. In support of Operation Smile, Chance put together a slideshow containing images of children with cleft palates, which played alongside the song Hero by rock band Skillet. Why would he do that? I mean, he doesn't, I'm just going to, you know, fast forward through that. I don't want to get copy ding, but, uh, he doesn't have a cleft palate. I don't see why, <laughs> why he would do that. Of interest would occur until over a year later when on Valentine's day, 2012, Chance was arrested and jailed for 24 hours after strangling and beating his grandmother. Oh, wow. Wow, dude. Wow. Okay. So he was attacking grandma Sally here since 2012. I didn't know it went back that far. Interesting. In, in, definitely interesting uh, turn of events there. See, I thought everything happened within the last um, ten years, and when uh, when when his ex, you know, the, the girlfriend he had, when you know, 
she didn't want him to go out to uh uh what, what was it Kansas or something because he doesn't drive or anything. He was, I don't know if he was gonna hitchhike or whatever. See, I I didn't know it happened. You know what? It maybe even happened before 2012. I mean, allegedly, I'm guessing. And Sally probably just never reported it. She probably at this was at that point. I'm sure she just got sick of it. It's seriously, he looks like a ventriloquist dummy. <laughs> it is unknown what caused the confrontation that led to the assault, but when interviewed by police, Chance my God, those two front no teeth. His grandmother, Sally, would choose not to press charges against her grandson, who returned to the family home immediately following his release. This would later become a significant moment in Chance's life, as it would become ammunition for trolls to use against him on a regular basis. At some point in mid-2012, Chance would join local record label Killer Clown Sounds. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll slow this down because it seems like you guys are really getting into this. And so am I. Like I said, there's this early stuff. I had no idea. I only know stuff from the past, like, couple years that i was you know uh reporting on them like so the past two and a half uh years so all this other stuff like i had no idea so he actually was legit signed to uh a label i mean that's still it's very very interesting the label was founded by a man named eric scrubbolo who would later tell trolls that he only signed chance because he felt bad for him chance that tracks an inspiring rapper and producer and would eventually steal the names cyrax and shadowblade from scrub Shadow Blade. He he stole the name from this scrubbolo guy, but uh, didn't he? All, I see. I always thought that he stole it from you know the Mortal Kombat character, who you know Cyrax was a cool, still was a cool Mortal Kombat character. But anyway, like I thought he stole it from that, not this guy. But yeah, Shadow Blade. Uh, Cyrax is a lot more fitting name for him. Scrubbolo and begin using them as his own. Cyrax as his rapper alias, and Shadow Blade as his producer alias. This would become the first known occurrence of Chance stealing ideas from other artists and musicians, which would become a constant in the following years. On June 2nd, Chance would upload his first music video, entitled Voices to My Head, on YouTube. I swear at first I tried. When I came here, he was there always watching from the side. On June. Wow, that was uh, <laughs> that 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 was creepy. But man, I I really wish he would have kept these. But I know so many of his um, I know so many of his videos was uh, you know, taken down and. Like he, like the guy just said in the beginning, so many of his chows were taken down. But I'll let him continue. 29th, Chance would upload a video giving some insight into the making of an album he had been working on. He also complained about seemingly new rules being attached to the Juggalo lifestyle. Juggalos is the name used to describe the hardcore fan base of Detroit hip hop duo Insane Clown Posse. Shadow Blade Productions, behind the scenes. There is a few things that I want to touch base on. First off, I want to say thank you to all my fans, my amazing label that I'm working with called Killer Clown Sounds. I also want to give a huge, huge thank you to my amazing fan base, which is all my friends and a few others, and a very big thank you to my best friend and little sister Hannah Farrell she is actually my official album cover artist my boy Scrubble sat down with me and we were going over names and he came out with the name mentally unstable so I kind of went with that and I just the name sounds awesome so thank you Scrubble there's another thing that I want to touch base on that has I've noticed going around Facebook and around YouTube a lot, and that is these new supposed rules on being a juggler. So disappointed in all these new kids thinking that they can just go in and make up whatever rules they want. Because I've been in the family for a little over seven years, close to ten. But um. Yeah, definitely. No <laughs> definitely delusion. Are, you supposedly have to be jumped in. And I'm here to say, you know, that's not true. 
you don't have to be jumped in because we're not a gang we're a family on july 5th chance would upload a video of himself attempting to beat the time for a 17 second long scream performed oh my god chester bennington in the lincoln park song given up really oh oh this is for, okay yo i've seen this on on uh, on shaman's channel okay well now i at least know where this comes from see i like this i like connecting these dots <laughs> At some point in the latter half of 2012, Chance would begin dating a woman named Heather. In very early 2013, Chance and Heather would upload a video denouncing the Juggalo lifestyle. Hey guys, what's up? It's Chance, aka Shadow Master, and my girl Rouge. Uh, where to start? Oh, so there, there was uh, there was somebody else uh, beforehand. See, I, again, I had no idea. How does he get? I mean, you know, and I hate to say, I don't know. She could be a really nice person. <laughs> I mean, you know, really nice, you know, uh, big uh, person. That's a huge bitch. <laughs> Seems like Cyrex has a type. But, uh, and, you know, that's probably because of his grandma. But, like, seriously, what, what, what do women see in him? I mean, he wasn't the Cyrax that we know of today. So it's not like, oh, yeah, that'll be a troll. But all I'm, all I'm saying, guys, one thing, you know, don't cow tip. You laugh at the poo, you don't touch the poo, because the poo's gross and it smells. Me and her... <laughs> well, we pretty much decided to drop the Juggalo lifestyle itself. Not the family, but the lifestyle itself. We're not going to stop being friends with any of the Juggalos and that. If you guys still want to be a what, friend, it's cool. But it's up to the Juggalos out there. What, what? The lifestyle. And for those of you that are going to get pissed off and say that's gay and bullshit, which I know a few people that have already, not mentioning any names, but you guys know who you are, and you guys need to be more understanding about this. I mean, we're still going to be underground no matter what. We'll still be underground till the day we die, but the Jogo lifestyle... We tried to live it, and we just found out that it's not for us. In February, Chance would upload a video on Facebook in an attempt to confront somebody named Aaron, who had been bullying a woman who he referred to as his little sister. Chance challenged Aaron to a fight. Oh! We got a little situation. Yo, this is like Music Biz Marty all over again, folks, right? This asshole on Facebook named Aaron is messing with my little sister Lisa Johnson this guy <laughs> seems to think I'm hiding behind words but I'm not you hear that Aaron I'm not hiding behind anything little man you want a little man look at you you're nothing but a punk ass baby Hiding wow. behind his own damn words, he's too afraid to stand up to me like a real man. And oh, and again, for everyone who came in, I hope everyone is doing very good and having a really nice Wednesday, hump day, as they call as they call it. <laughs> um, you know, I'm trying to. So good vibes and uh, and uh, you know, very uh, you know, <laughs> just hope everyone's having a nice, nice uh, day. You know. But let's get back to this. And like I always said, like I said from the beginning, thank you guys for joining me on this impromptu Wednesday. I really, really appreciate it. I appreciate you all. And unlike you, I can't back my words up. You're just a little punk ass with no respect. And all I hear out of your is blah, blah, blah. That's all I fucking hear, man. So you want to bring it, you little punk ass? Then do it. I'm here. I'm ready. Yeah, yeah, Renee. Maybe one time we need to have like Bill Mann speaker come on and talk all about uh, green jello and stuff like that. That could be a lot of fun. Oh, and if you get your ass kicked, which I'm pretty sure you will, 
Take it like a man. Don't go crying home to mommy like a little bitch. Later that month, on February 20th, Chance, having had a falling out with label mate Eric Scrubbolo, threw the label's signature dog tags into Summit Lake in retaliation. And again, this is just so interesting because I seriously, before watching this, I thought that it was only Music Biz Marty uh, doing what he did with the troll. Like, I had no idea that he... And I know it doesn't take much to, you know, I've, I've met people that own uh, independent labels in the past and stuff. So I know it doesn't take much to own a label. But still, the fact that he actually was working with someone with a label before he got trolled, I was always under the assumption that he didn't know anybody that actually had a legit label. It's really surprising to me. Just over a week later, on the 28th, Chance and Heather would upload a video apologizing to Scrubbolo for the incident. I know you're pretty upset about the whole dog tag thing and whatnot. And yo, do you guys notice that he likes to date a lot of girls with uh, H names? Like Heather, Hannah, you know? I don't know. It just seemed very interesting to me. Well, when we did the whole thing with the dog tags, it's because we were pissed off. We didn't know what the hell to do. We were, yeah. we were seriously just... We were only doing like my mom. Yes, happy Easter. <laughs> God bless. She came up with the idea to throw him into the lake and. Hey, at Pew the time, Pew. It like a good and idea. Mousy, of course. And honestly. And Renee. We regret it, man. Always tired. We, yeah, big time. We seriously regret doing that, man. You're family, dude. And. It's because of KKS that we made it as far as we did. Yep. And we thank you. Yeah, seriously, man. Because without you, I don't know what we'd be doing. And we love you to death. Exactly, man. So, if you see this, man, just know that we are deeply and truly sorry. Because Killer Constance, like you said yesterday, it's more than a label. It's a fucking family, dude. <laughs> We're all family on that label. And... We just want to make things right again with you, bro. And I mean yep. it. No more beef, no more drama, no more bullshit. Just start over fresh. From the very get go, do like we did before, start with fresh, be cool and shit. And Yeah, you know what? Uh Matt Matless, am I saying your name right? I I hope I am. Uh yeah, that I, I do find it interesting that a lot of these early videos he was downstairs more and it seemed a lot cleaner down there, and then he moved up into the uh you know, he moved up into the uh the attic. So I, I definitely am noticing that. But man, look at the stone cold face on this one. <laughs> I, I, I hope the guy goes into what happened with this relationship. I, I just find this so, so fascinating because I thought he only had like a handful of girlfriends. I didn't even know this person even existed. If you're so upset, we understand because honestly, we'd be upset with that kind of stuff too. Yeah. So... I guess we'll talk to you later on, bro, right? Nothing else of note would happen until February 16th, 2014, when Chance uploaded a poem written by a United States Marine to Facebook. Oh, God, why? 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 Claiming it as his own original composition. Ugh. On May 16th, Chance... <laughs> I, I like that picture. Hold on. I, I think I... Hold on a second. I, I need to... Uh, I, I want to, you know... <laughs> Future, uh, future thumbnail, huh, folks? Yeah. <laughs> you know me. A any excuse to get a, a future thumbnail later? If I seize it, I takes it. It's uploaded. A you know, Sally. Why didn't you ever take him to the dentist? Jeez. And what happened here? Is that the is that the side mirror or is that the? It's either that or it looks like the car was stolen video claiming that he was developing a horror video game entitled Possession. Nothing going on behind those sides. Yeah, right, Sarah. To other beloved video game titles. I hear you. Right now, 
with episode one of Gamer Madness Monthly. Um, just so you guys know, we have a new game coming out that's kind of our first game, so it's called Possession 10. Mm. You guys can go to the description bar below. I'll post the link to the site where you can get it, which is our personal website. It's the company site. You can also check out the screenshots there and whatnot. Um, and you go to Facebook, hit us up on Facebook at Hit the Fan Studios at Facebook.com. Um, uh oh. Also, a huge shout out to Robin and Ashley, <laughs> the guys that are making this possible. And what I think you guys are. Everybody- Yo, I will say this though. In, in Cyrex's defense, if you, I mean, it's hard to tell because his head's up higher. I don't see as many of those scabs on his head. So, I, don't, I, I again, I, I bet you it was more than one bed bug, but it doesn't look that bad on his forehead yet. But, you know, it just, it seems like, you know, allegedly, in my opinion, that he just kind of let the, uh, let himself go. You know what I mean? Um, I did hear from several sources that, Grandma Sally, or probably even that girlfriend there, was kind of helping grooming him, like, you know, shave his face, making sure he washed, stuff like that. And, you know, after him uh, doing what they just said he did to Sally in the beginning, I'm sure Sally didn't want to help him anymore. You know, shave your own face and back and whatever. You know, clean your own scabs. Everybody on the team, um, for those of you that do know me and know my work, you guys know that I've put on some pretty creepy stuff. Yeah, I know, Chibi, right? He looked, he looked, uh, you know, I mean, he still looked like Cyrax, but a lot better then than now. I, def- Yo, I definitely, definitely agree with you on that. The looks definitely changed, but maybe because he was younger. But still, he, this 43 is 33 now. And if you guys are fans, <laughs> yeah, you know, escape. Duty, <laughs> maybe. Up, or like any kind of first person shooter game. You guys will definitely love this. It's really good. Four days later, Chance would upload a video complaining about zero tolerance laws concerning violent crime. Yo, that is a very interesting mullet if I ever see one. (laughs) I mean, is it a mullet? Yo, guys, question, question. I mean, again, I'm I'm learning. That's why I'm doing these documentaries. And like I said, if they do good, uh, there's a lot more and I will go into them because it's just... I didn't know about the, this earlier stuff. But I have a question for anyone who's a Cyrax aficionado. Does he have blonde hair or naturally? Or maybe, what's it called? Uh, strawberry blonde, dirty blonde. I, I don't really know the exact term. Or is it uh, more brownish, like his eyebrows? I, I always thought he had brown hair. But now I'm seeing this type of blonde. And I don't know if he dyed it himself. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Yo, there's Cyrax holding a, a baby. I hope, I hope that's one of his like you know uh, relatives. But even then, with uh, with Rupal and everything, uh, that doesn't you know <laughs> that wouldn't stop him. Pete Elf. He repeatedly asserted the importance of self defense. No tolerance law. In some cases, I can agree with it, in others, I can't. The one I want to most really talk about is self defense. Mr. Burns. <laughs> I'm putting the no tolerance law. You need to take it out. Yo, and I have another question. Why, even in even these early videos, I mean, what are we talking about here? 2012, they said, he said. Some vid, some uh, camera um, picture videos are pretty good. At least maybe 240p, 144, 240, 360, at least. And then other times you get this potato uh, video, like... Either it was where he filmed it or, a, you know, a cell phone camera. I, I'm just really curious on why some videos look better than others. If somebody's fighting you and you can't get away from that person, you can't help but defend yourself. You have a right to defend yourself. And being arrested for defending yourself. Oh, hey, Bucky. You can't always 
get to a safe place. Sometimes you're gonna have to fight back. <laughs> I think it's natural. I you hear you cannot it. tell me that you weren't one of those kids that had it rough. What I don't get is how you can sit there and arrest somebody who is clearly defending themselves. If I'm trapped in a corner, like a literal corner, and I'm getting attacked, my first instinct, automatically by reaction, is to fight back and defend myself. Everybody has the right to defend themselves. Everyone. Me, you, the people Hey, uh, video Guido, or, right <laughs> hope I'm not saying yourself. it wrong, Guido. <laughs> How you doing? It's time we made a change. And that change needs to come now. Shortly following this, Chance would finally leave high school at 23 years old. He did not graduate, but the circumstances of his exit have been disputed. While on a panel years later, Chance would claim to have been expelled again, this time due to having defended a friend from an unfair teacher. Whoa, 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 Hold the phone, hold the phone, guys. Hold the phone. Uh, what do we... See, now I'm really confused. Uh, rewind it. <laughs> is he saying that so cyrax was expelled from the first school when he was 20 years old with a blind billy situation well fellatio with the blind billy staying at his sleepover because the mom made him and you know that's unfortunate for blind billy of course because those teeth my god raking the leaves but he went to another school see that's the thing like i, I was never expelled uh so I don't know the search the situation. I always thought that if you're ex expelled from a public school, you're not allowed to go to another uh, public school. Like if you want to finish your education, maybe either a private school or you got your good enough diploma, your GED. I didn't know you can just go back into a, um go back into a public school. But look at this though. And when was he? He must have been like 21 at this point. In another public school, getting expelled again. Can you imagine that? Two expulsions on your record? That is crazy. He also claimed in 2017 that he was kept from graduating due to the color of his skin. Oh, More than what? Likely what actually happened is that Chance had unknowingly been placed into a special needs program to stay in high school longer than usually allowed. Oh, definitely. But had to leave when he reached the age limit. Neither of the proposed circumstances have been confirmed or denied. Not much is known about the next two and a half years of Chance's life. On February 17th, 2017, Chance would upload a video showcasing his editing prowess. In the video, Chance would face off with himself in simulated combat. Oh. <laughs> Look at this! Now what are you here? What the hell? Oh. Huh? Oh. Where am I? <laughs> hey, what the... What the hell? Who are you? I'm a goblin. Who are you? <laughs> Wait, what? Dude, who are you? Who am I? Who are you? I asked you first. Oh, oh my God. That's fine. Come on. Yo, Cyrax, Cyrax, Cyrax. Obviously, you took this down, but you were so far away from your uh, pre-recorded self. Did you not watch this video before you put it up? Like, oh, I gotta do that again because it doesn't even look right at all. I mean, he could have done this in a way where it could have looked a lot better. It, where you didn't even do that, like camera angles. Camera angles are a everything. If you ever, anyone ever done independent um, media, like right now you know what I'm talking about. It's the angles. You know, you could have made that look pretty, pretty, pretty good. But between the potato uh, video and him not even being close to himself, that just looks like crap. He's not even touching himself. Uh oh, uh oh, hold on. Let me, uh, let me mute that because, again, I, I don't know if that's uh, copyrighted music. And, you know, we don't need that. We just... Okay, now he's getting kind of close to himself. Ew, Cyrex close to himself. <laughs> I just realized what I said. <laughs> All right.
Uh, all right, let me let me put the let me see if that's done. <laughs> I mean, I guess later on I could always mute the seg, uh, mute the the segment and put in different music. Four days later, Chance would upload a video blaming his failure to graduate high school on the fact that his principal was racist and kept him from graduating due to her prejudice. Chance here. Um, a lot of you might not know me, but the reason why I am doing this show or this concert is to promote anti-racism. No, oh, really? More peace and understanding in this world. No bullshit? And to help people know that, you know, there are very serious issues that go on. Like myself, I didn't graduate high school because my fucking head principal was racist. Oh, God. Racist against what? Against goblinism? <laughs> like, like, seriously. <laughs> racist. Stop it, man. It's always about your appearance, not about the disgusting things you do. And, like, the uh, guy saying, I think you were uh, 21. If, if the last school with the blind billy situation you were 20 dude even at 20 even being a 43 you were of age they gave you a little bit more time but dude like seriously why did you have to go to school if i was him which i thank god thank you god i'm not i would have just got my good enough diploma and called it a day it's because i was white i didn't deserve to graduate so hopefully this show you know really helps you guys to spread a little bit more love and understanding in this world. On May 3rd, Chance would announce the grand opening of his Shadow Blade online shop. This would be the first of many shops concerning Chance and his antics, some being set up by Chance himself, but most being set up by future trolls. What is up, everybody? Uh, Chance, aka Shadow Blade here, and I've got some dope news for all of you who listen to my music. Which I'm pretty sure is a lot of you. My shop is now officially open for business. I will be posting the link to my shop in the description of this live feed. We got coffee cups. We got t-shirts. Um, we got hoodies. And we got hats. Later that month, on May 26th, Chance would record himself playing outside with his dog Bandit. This is a rather minor occurrence, but worth including considering that footage of Chance outside his house is extremely rare. And here he comes. Oh, here we go. Oh, I, uh, wow. Yeah, I, I always heard dogs, but I never got to really uh, see the dogs. Okay, so I guess that's behind the house over there. Okay. Say hi, Bandit. Hey. Say hi. That's Bandit. That's my boy. On July 3rd, Chance made a video calling out a man named Chuck Steggle. Chance claimed that Steggle had been hacking his email account since 2008. Oh, thank you. Always Tired? Always Tired has just donated $4.99 through Super Chat. Hey Draven, I'm new to Cyrax lore. Why do people hate Grandma Sally so much? What did she do? Uh, well, always tired. Thank you for the four nine nine. I uh, definitely appreciate it. Um, I mean, I can't speak for the community or anyone, but if I were to guess, I would say that Grandma S Sally is an enabler. Grandma Sally, uh, allowed him to do his goblin ways. She allowed him to attack people online. And as you'll probably see maybe either in this video or subsequent videos down the line, she she knew he was threatening people on, online, telling them to come to his house, but she still allowed it to happen. 
She also never brought him to any type of dentist, it looks like, or a dermatologist or something. So, you know, I mean, the, his shoulders, maybe he could have went to physical therapy. I mean, there's so many things he, she could have done, like dentist, physical therapy, dermatology for his scalp. And I feel like people, I mean, I'm personally upset about that, that she just, you know, allowed him to do these horrible things and she really didn't take care of him. Plus, if she, you know, he's kicking her, pushing her down the steps and stuff like that, attacking her like since 2012, uh, it's very speculated that Grandma Sally only keeps the 43 around because he's on, uh, you know, he gets disability money. And she just uses him as a disability check. So that's, you know, to me, why I would think a lot of people are upset. I mean, if anyone in the comments section, you can add. That's perfectly fine. But that's why, in my opinion, why I'm upset with her. So I hope that answered your question. And again, thank you so much, Always Tired. I appreciate you. And again, I hope everyone's having a nice, lovely uh, Wednesday and good vibes. And let's just keep going. This is a very, very interesting uh video and i might even go into part two today because like i said i'm learning a whole lot music went on the show but, but today i'm not coming to you guys as a music artist i'm coming to you guys as a victim of a longtime hacker named chuck stegel he's this little pussy ass dude who likes to start shit the dude claims to be gothic, claims to be juggle, he claims to be underground, he claims to be all this shit. When really, what, what? he's nothing but a golf faced fucking liar who likes to start shit. This motherfucker's been hacking my accounts, my emails, causing me problems with friendships, relationships, all of that shit. Since 2008. He pretended to be me. On my own account. This motherfucker is costing me relationships, friendships with some of my closest friends. What friends? Job BS. <laughs> so, Chuck, I hope you're watching this. I'm sick and tired of your goddamn shit. Later that month, on the 27th and 28th, respectively, Chance would upload a harmonica cover of Boots Laced Up by Soldier Hard and a vocal cover of Crawling by Linkin Park. Why? And I don't get to go past this one because this one definitely is going to be, uh, uh, you know, <laughs> uh, copyright. And you know what? Uh, Rip Chester, you had an incredible voice. The fact that Cyrax thought he could hold a candle to you at all. I mean, I wouldn't even attempt to be so, so embarrassing and so disrespectful. Chester had one of the best rock voices ever. You know? I mean, to them, to me, I don't feel like Linkin Park was new metal. Or Green Days, if you guys haven't checked out. Or sorry, Grey Days. If you haven't checked out Grey Days, check them out. They're pretty, pretty cool. Um, but uh, yeah, let me, try, let me play this and I'll go past that part. Covers like these would become a staple of Chance's online presence over the following years. I know it's been a long while since I've actually posted a video. So if you give me one minute, I'll be right back because I'm going to do something special for you guys. <laughs> oh god why does he think that that's a cover cyrax cyrax that's not a cover like seriously and if you watch this that's not a cover if you want to show yourself uh like how to play the song on a harmonica that's one way then you play the music in the background but to have a cover you don't have the original song playing with it you play and you make it your own. That's a cover. This is very easy, man. But again, maybe if you would have went to a better school or actually pay attention, you would know that. Guys, it's your boy Dylan got here. Um, and today, instead of doing a regular upload track, um, what I'm going to do is actually do... Hey, <laughs> you like that always tired? All right, I, I could I could probably do that. And his legacy. I'm actually going to do a melodic growl slash screaming vocal style of it. All right. Scoliosis in my lower back. Like I don't know if you guys can tell, but I do have a lazy eye. 
This one right no. here is actually blind, so technically I am half blind. And the reason why I say technically is because sometimes I have vision in this eye, and sometimes I don't. And it's been that way since I was a little kid. Because I had eye surgery done on me at the same time on both eyes. And over time, you know, it messed with it. The doctors told me the day I was born was the day I was supposed to die. The only reason I lived is because my mom took me and did everything against the doctor's orders. There was very few doctors who supported what she was doing. Imagine that, though. Being picked on because you're shorter than everyone else throughout school, on top of having to every day fight medical battles, every day fighting having one and a half lungs, every day fighting having one kidney. Imagine that. Yeah, see, there's two ki two Every kidneys. For 26 years. On August 4th, continuing his string of covers, Chance uploaded a metal cover show dedicated to his new girlfriend, Abby, a woman who had lost her arm in a train-related accident. All right, well, you know what? I, um, <laughs> oh, God, I said, <laughs> terms of service. Uh, <laughs> let's see, how can I say this? I can understand. Okay, how about that? I can understand, you know? <laughs> but, uh... Okay, so that's another girlfriend. So we had uh, the one he just said, Heather, and then now this other one that had uh, one arm. Okay, so let's go. But again, I, I'm surprised. I really am surprised. Like, were these girls just into him? Or they felt bad? Or maybe they thought he was some sort of a project? I'm really curious. Hey, if any of these women that dated Cyrax ever watches me, ever comes across my channel, please, uh... Let me know. I, I would just be interested to know like what you uh thought, like, you know, about this dude. About this goblin. You know, definitely hit up my girlfriend Abby's channel. If you go to mine, it's underneath the name Abby D. You can definitely look her up. She's got some amazing, amazing content. Um, for those of you that don't know, um, Abby does have a prosthetic arm from a train accident. So from basically about I'd say about here down is just a full prosthetic arm but you know nonetheless you know i do still love her and you know and this show is definitely dedicated to her all right no 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 the green ranger in the mighty morphin series he discusses a video supposedly sent to him by jason david frank of an intended shooter at Comic-Con. Some of you might be aware of the subject that's going around as far as Comic-Cons go, some of you might not. But if you don't know, I'm going to fill you in. Almost all Comic-Cons are banning weapons. The reason why they're banning it is because of people like this man that I'm about to play the clip for you of. He was, he had the intent to kill if you guys know, I'm very good friends with the man that played the green, white ranger, the red zeal ranger, the red turbo ranger, and the black dino thunder ranger. He sent me a clip just a couple hours ago, and I didn't catch it until just now, but when he did send it to me, I watched it. Um, this man had an intent. He was dressed as the Punisher. He had the intent to walk into a Comic Con with the intent to kill Jason. I David did Trump. hear about this. The next day, Chance uploaded a video claiming that an ex girlfriend named Tiffany had attempted to frame him for cheating on Abby and had been subsequently arrested for doing so. Today, I am putting a message out for my wonderful, wonderful, amazing girlfriend and Abby. I want you guys to know that my girlfriend Tiffany is no more. She is done for. I no longer have any contact with her. And I can promise you guys that she will not come between me and Abby again. And Tiffany had hacked my Facebook when my computer was not working at the time. And what she did and tried to set me up. Oh, hey, Blackbeard. To make me look What's up? Like I cheated on Abby when I did. I want you guys to know that she did go to jail. Tiffany did 
go to jail for hacking crimes. This would be the first of many cheating scandals that Chance would find himself entangled in. At some point later in the month, Chance up. Look at that hair. And again, I am just so surprised, you know? Like, uh, again, I'm not trying to be mean. You know, I would say beggars can't be choosers, but the fact that he had anybody and he's cheating on her, it's just, it's wild, right? It's wild. And with, you know, wow, without being mean, but like, I can actually see that. It looks like the hair follicles were trying to grow back. I mean, it's hard to see with this picture, but it does look like something was trying to grow back there before the scab scabbed all over the top of that head. Uploaded a video citing that his appearance was the main reason that major record labels would not sign him. For those of you that are wondering, no, I will not accept a non-paying record label. As a matter of fact, I used to co-own one and was a CEO of the record label Killer Clown Sounds, which was found. I feel like a real man when I'm kicking kids. I don't know, maybe. I feel like a real man when I'm kicking kids. I don't know, maybe. I feel like a real man when I'm kicking kids. I don't know, maybe. I feel like a real man when I'm kicking kids. Uh, what's up, Bucky? Uh, thank you for the two bucks. Yes, uh, I did hear about that for people who don't know. So basically, and uh, thank you, Bucky. Basically, in another chat yesterday, it was someone was saying that Sally uh passed away, and of course, that yeah, that was another uh lie, but yes, she did not pass away because everyone's thinking is this at the house right now, there's Cyrax, there's his grandma, not mom, grandma Sally. And Sally's boyfriend, Ed, who likes his perk 30s. Um, that's not a legend. It's the truth, man. Um, and what do you call it? If something happens to Sally, Ed is not going to take care of him. Ed is sick of taking care of Cyrax. She doesn't like him around. So I think if something, in my opinion, happened to Sally, Ed would, you know, he'd leave. He'd be the first to leave. But uh, no, he, uh, she is still very much alive at this point, but rumors uh, about Sally's uh, passing is always, always, you know, exaggerated and stuff. But I'm, you know, when it does, if it does ever happen, believe me, I'll be the first to uh, let you all know. But thank you for your question. Myself and my good friend, still to this day, even though I do not work with them, Eric Scrubble. And for those of you that are wondering why I'm not signed, it's because of my physical appearance. Oh. I see, record labels. Come on, dude, I would love that. A bullshit? Dude, I would love to have an excuse for every time, you know? Oh, it's because I'm too tall. I'm too muscular and strong because I have nice flowing brown hair. Like, give me a break, man. It's always, oh, I'm this, I'm that. Like, how about just your, your, just your music's not good enough? You, that's not real music. You're not even trying to work with the artist to make a collab. Where they would actually just give you the beats to do it. You're not cutting it up. There's machines to cut up a song where it would be like their, you know, their actual property. But he's not doing that. He's just singing over music. Like, does he not realize that that that's still that's copyright infringement? I'm surprised that the. Uh, that that scrubbo guy at that you know at that at that independent label didn't explain that to him, but yeah, everything with the school with the label, it's because of my appearance. Uh, no, it's it's not because you do these, those other crazy things, right? I just don't like how I look, so they figure they can bully me and bash on me and tear me down. On October twenty fourth. Chance uploaded a freestyle to raise awareness for special needs kids. Freestyle rap. Wow. Special needs kids around the world to raise awareness because Peter. my ultimate goal for this video is to not only spread awareness about it, but to ultimately try to start up a record label for special needs kids like myself who are interested in doing music and who take it seriously. And also call out record labels who bash on special needs people like myself. So without further ado, <clears throat> pardon me.
So what the hell is that? Ew. Without further. <coughs> <laughs> <laughs> Chance began 2018 by creating three new YouTube channels, Chance Wilkins, Virus Official Music, and Shadowblade Official. On January 18th, he uploaded an inspirational vlog concerning bullying. Welcome to the first ever daily inspirational vlog. That's right, episode one, baby. Um, but today I want to talk about something serious that a lot of, you know, teachers and parents don't take very serious. And that is bullying. It can be verbal all the way up to physical to where they don't give you any choice but to fight back. And, you know, and I was bullied throughout most of my life because of my size. And honestly, because of how I look. Imagine what it was like for me back in high school having to physically fight back. But, and I'm, before I get into that, but I will admit it was very hard. It really was. To help battle against that, I do have a song for you guys. Well, it's actually a music video that I recorded earlier today. And if somebody calls you fat or ugly, or you're not worth anything, blow them off. They're not worth your time or effort. On January 18th, Chance uploaded another vlog, this time documenting a trip to Summit Lake near his house. Um, if you didn't know, I'm actually back here in the woods in Akron, Ohio. Um, this right here is actually a guardrail to an old road that used to come through here. Back in here, this all used to be one big swimming pool. Like, this all used to be a swimming pool back in the early 50s, 60s. I'm actually standing on an old railroad. Like, this all used to be a railroad. Um, this one over here, I don't know if you guys can see or not, but it's actually closed off. My urban exploration adventures. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. Yeah, some kind of piping laying over here. Um, but anyways guys, I better get out of here before I get caught, but uh, with that being said guys, oh yeah, this is, this is when he, I remember this, yeah, he was like messing around a train track, that was crazy, cause it's like dude, you could have been doing anything, and you know what, unfortunately, tra trains derail, and the fact that this guy was able to walk around train tracks, that is really, really nuts. Oh yeah, I just not noticed you guys looking at a wall, there's a peace sign over there. The following day, Chance uploaded a brand new song titled The King of Akron under the alias Virus. And on February 11th, another new song called In Blood I Trust was uploaded. Holding it down for the original King of Akron. It, it, yo, is this his real song? Okay. Zachariah Hussein. The name's Virus. You better learn it quick Cause round here we gon' play Yo, I thought all of you knew that since the day I was born This is what I was motherfucking meant to do I was meant to slay any damn dog who get in my way I always say young dog Every single day holding it down for my motherfucking brother Yeah, who is on? Yes, it blind, I trust I just can't get enough Oh god Oh 
Yes, you got a trust. I get it. All right, I'm just gonna move a little bit because that's just really weird. What the hell? Some sort, but has chosen not to use it on Scrubble. <laughs> Shout out to Eric Scrubble. Shout out to Eric Scrubble. <laughs> Hey, look at this! I what you look at this! Back then, he was able to make a normal-looking video where you could actually see everything. And look, no scabs. What? What happened? What happened, Sarah? I I'm curious. Okay, I'm not being mean. I I'm just, I'm just curious. And, and but then, even to this day, you'll get like, eh, like some sort of like noise interference, or you can't see him. Potato-looking video camera. Like, I'm just so. Curious, like, was he using like a better video camera that he doesn't have access to anymore? Like, I'm really curious. You guys, let me know in the chat if you do know the answer. Because, like I said, I want to do. If these videos do well, I'm going to do a whole. Uh, I have a whole series planned of a documentary because I figure might as well. You know what I mean, folks? And I hope you guys are enjoying this. Uh, please like. I, I do appreciate it. it. Helps me in the algorithm. Try to get at least a hundred. And yeah, thank you all for hanging out with me today uh, in this impromptu Wednesday. Really do appreciate it. I really appreciate you all. Good vibes, and I hope everyone's having a great day. And let's continue. Said taking a one shot at me. Hey, well, see through. What's what? up? I ain't gonna lay down and take it, punk bitch. See, hey, Wef, how you doing? Own. That's why I stopped working with you. It's because you think you're better than everybody. Yeah, <laughs> Wef. <laughs> Sally puts the cream on his. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know what, Wef? Wef, um, you might know this because I know you know uh, a lot about uh, Cyrax. Some, uh, somebody asked before. Um, always tired asked me, uh, is Sally complicit? Like, why does Sally allow him? To do what he does. Is it really over his social security check or is there more to it? If you could write that, that would be really great. And thank you, Wef. I appreciate your Cyrax knowledge. You might think I suck. Well, dude, if I suck so bad, why is my music up on Spotify? Why have <laughs> I been Reverb Nation's number one artist from 2010 up to this year? At least I'm out here making money, nigga. Whoa! That's Whoa! <laughs> oh, man. I am sorry to everybody. Dude, stop it. Cyrex, stop acting. Stop. Please, please God. Uh, stricken that from the record. The issue with you, you're not fucking business smart. You're garbage. You're washed up. You need to give up and go home. Ain't nobody can end my career. The only person that can end my career is me. So you want to take shots at me, dog? Go ahead. Take all the shots you want because guess what? Those shots ain't going to phase me, homie. Yeah, I might sit at home behind a keyboard all day and shit, but you know what? At least I'm getting my music out there. No cap. At least I'm doing my business and doing what I got to do for my music. If you're so goddamn popular, why ain't your music all over YouTube? Why ain't it all over SoundCloud? Why is it not on Spotify? Why is it not in the Google Play Store? You're all talk, man. You're all talk anymore. You ain't going to do shit. You cannot phase me, Eric. Like, you really think that you can phase me, Eric? You're wrong, dude. If you think I'm playing, come test me. I dare you to. I fucking dare you to, man. You think that your shit's hot shit. <laughs> but honestly, it's really not that good. He I causes his own good, drama. Yes, Aditya, I, I agree. He definitely does, you know? Instead of just saying, hey... Uh, I might got even if he does have you. I don't believe that. I mean, maybe he did. Uh, I I think we what with Spotify, you can just put it up there, or maybe you can pay for it. But you know, the point is, he should have been happy about that. But talking crap, yeah, I don't feel like that's a, it's not a good look. You know what I mean? And people don't want to hear that. You know what I'm saying? Oh here, I don't know, we don't like but I'll like that in a bit. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I definitely agree with that statement. It's not that good. So, you know what? Uh oh. Nah, I ain't gonna waste that on you. Think what was that? Was he going to like take out some sort of pew pew and threaten? Like, ah, never mind. This guy, you know, I mean, he has access to things he shouldn't have access to. Before you step to the king of this shit, huh? You better think before you step to a god. 
A god? That's what you're stepping to right now is a motherfucking god. Oh my god. <laughs> a god. released a new song titled, Please Notice Me. Now, yo, I don't know uh, about Soundtrap. I've never heard of Soundtrap. If anyone does, just let me know. That, is that connected with uh, Spotify? Uh, or is that is this just a place that you can actually like literally just put music on and you know type of thing? You don't really get residuals or money. Oops. <laughs> it sounds like music you would hear like in the nineties, like in a. You know what I mean? Like in a high school type of like movie, you know what I mean? Like a not another team movie or something. <laughs> Scotty doesn't know. On August 25th, Chance uploaded a song entitled Lost Innocence on SoundCloud. The lyrics, which he claimed as his own, were stolen word for word from a poem written by a survivor of childhood sexual abuse. Oh my god. I will be playing a clip from this one for obvious reasons. I mean, yo, Sarax, Chance, here, I'll even call you Chance for this one. Dude, dude, if you don't realize how messed up that is, that someone was singing from their own uh, perspective, you know, then I don't know what to tell you, man, because that, that, that's, that is horrible. That is horrible. You can't keep getting away with it! <laughs> I mean, you know, there's people sing to let, you know, many different reasons to let it out, let out their, you know, their, their traumas. And you just take and taking it because you think it's edgy or cool. It's just really, it's, it's not in good, you know, it doesn't look good, man. Okay. It doesn't bode well. It doesn't, you know, <laughs> doesn't come off really, you know, edgy, especially coming out of your mouth. On September 14th, Chance uploaded a video of himself dancing in his grandmother's living room in response to a dance challenge issued by an online acquaintance. Oh! Yo, I need to get a copy of this one. Everyone, Shaman loves this one. <laughs> I love he's sitting down. Guys, check this out. I mean, I'm sure everyone has seen it, but you know, for the people who haven't. I wrote something, so fuck it. You want things scam as a punk, trash in the trunk. Go Cyrex, go Cyrex. Here, I'm just gonna uh, lower this volume because I'm sure it's copy protected. <laughs> you know what? That little goblin can move. I'll give him that. Look at that. He's picking up stuff. He's dropping it. He's picking up stuff. Now he's falling down. Oh, he's doing that little like kind of he's swimming. Now he's picking it back up. Now he's dancing again. Now he's swimming. All right, here, let me put it. I, mean, I think I could be okay putting it a little bit. But like I said, I really like this. I really like knowing where all this, uh, all these little short videos came from, and and the trajectory of this. I'm really, really enjoying this series, guys. And if you are, please, uh, please like because, uh, like I said, I had no idea um, where any of these videos came from or the context. Well, especially the early stuff, the, you know, the the uh, stuff from like a couple years ago to now. I do, but like, you know, back then, no, I really didn't know where all that came from. All right, let me bring it back down again for a little bit. Sucks. I hate copyright. Even just showing a little bit of it. It's like I'm not playing the whole damn song. But man, you know, it's... <laughs> He can move. Yo, I wonder... Uh, whoa, what was up with that motion? Oh, he's doing the lay down thing. <laughs> oh, man. This is hilarious. 
rest of your breath. Mine is gone. A minute fight, but I don't know what side I'm on. You couldn't even see me when the light is on. When I'm in this bitch, got the headphones on as I write this song. <laughs> I love that how his plate just did that little like flippy around circle. On September 25th, Chance uploaded a video discussing tips on how to be a successful entrepreneur. And today I'm here to talk about something that a lot of people have a misconception about, and that is the truth of the music industry and how it really works. But I'm also here to tell you about why you should not sign to any mainstream record label and why you should do everything on your own and how to virtually do it with very little to ultimately no money. This is like over a hundred streams in total. I currently have in streaming a dollar thirteen. On October 9th, Chance uploaded a 20 minute long short horror film that he had made entitled The Darkness. Chance is the only person who appears in the film aside from a clip at the very end that was obviously stolen from another unnamed and uncredited creator. What the hell is going on here? I don't know what it is, but whatever it is, it's not good. Oh, was he trying to do like ARG video or something like that? Yo. Hey, um, where do you guys want to meet you at? Yeah, you want me down by the lake, or where do you want me to meet you? They said they were going to be here. <laughs> Crap, I left my phone at the house. I mean, again, why is every video he ever makes, it's so cloudy? You know, like, what, what, what is up with that? Look at this place. It's beautiful. Here in the forest, Who said dark that? and deep. <laughs> Who said that? Pito. I offer you internal sleep. Wow. I don't know the thing was. Whatever it is. Oh, he used to do that? Oh. I mean, yeah, they're definitely terrible, Wef. But at least then, you know, if he kept doing that and being like, I'm going to do this, this is what I like, then people could be like, all right, at least he's doing something besides just, like, calling people out to come to his house to fight and getting racist and sexist and, do, and you know, whipping out his pecker to, to, you know, men and women and, and, you know, everyone else, you know, whether he thought that they were of age or underage and I'll say this up to the day I die. No one should do that. Don't send nudes, especially unsolicited, online because you don't know who you're talking to. You don't know who's on the other end. They could be an adult. They could be a kid. You know? It's just it's just a recipe for disaster. And, you know, I just, you know, very, very against people who do stuff like that. It's just gross. I've never like, done uh, that ever. <laughs> who is this? Man, I didn't know he did this. <laughs> Yo, you don't even need the strobe effect. <laughs> Can you imagine you wake up and you see that? Above your bed, <laughs> like the what do they call that the uh, uh, what's that the the non sleep demon? What is it called? Uh, 
Oh my god. What what the what's it called? There was so many it's not there. Was it the uh sleep paralysis demon? Hi, how you doing? You can go back to sleep now. Ugh. Yeah. <laughs> Cyrax is scared of his own face. <laughs> Man, that's funny. Why do you seem so scared? All I wanted to do was play with you. Yeah, Please I just remember. Play with me. I am so lonely. You're not afraid of the dark, are you? Uh, crazy. Oh uh, uh, yeah. Um, you're sort of person to ask me that. I don't. I don't think so because I had some people. Uh, it, you know, even yesterday I heard that rumor, and some people behind the scenes looked into it that are close or nearby the goblin, and they say no, Sally's not. She's not yet. But you know what? Dealing with him and his mental stress, it's gonna happen. And like we all know, I mean, allegedly. You I I do not foresee Ed taking care of him, even if he's getting uh social security money and stuff. I think Cyrax should have tried to get Section Eight or something and gotten himself a one bedroom apartment in Akron a long time ago. This way, in this eventuality, he has a place to live. But like, I don't know. He does claim though in these recent uh, audio tapes that he. He doesn't, he wouldn't go into a group home, that he'd go into some sort of like uh, live with his friends type thing. So we will see. But no, I, uh, I believe at this point, Sally is still uh, alive with us. Don't be afraid. Come with me. Yeah, thanks, I Captain will show Spaulding. I you where I play hide and seek. But yo, Captain Spaulding, a lot of people thought that though. Uh, uh, apparently, I don't know. It was talked about in some chats yesterday that it, that's what was told to me. But no, Sally, Sally's still around for now. You know, I mean, she is old. How old is Sally? If anyone knows, please let me uh, know. That'd be great. Do you want to play hide and seek? You hide, and I'll find you. You're going to die in there. Uh -oh. Don't say I didn't warn you. On October 15th, Chance again showcased his video editing skills with a short video portraying his attempt at emulating firebending, a reference to the popular animated series Avatar The Last Airbender. At this point, it's worth mentioning that at some point in the latter half of 2018, Chance first interacted with a woman named Candle Smith. I was unable to pinpoint a definitive date for their first interaction, but Candle was apparently nice to Chance in a YouTube chat, which led to Chance making romantic advances towards her. Candle was not interested, and made it known that she wasn't. Chance did not take this well, and proceeded to stalk and harass Candle. He began calling her repeatedly to leave aggressive and threatening voicemails and took it a step further by contacting her landlord to slander her. On October 19th, someone under the username the boy blue 1982 uh, Before he keeps going with that, that's why for anyone who uh, tries to catfish Chance of the Future, Cyrex, or decoys them, understand you don't need to uh, take his advances for him to... Uh, be Cyrax. Cyrax will be Cyrax no matter what. You could say, no, I'm not interested, and he'll just whip it out anyway. It's just, you know, food for thought. Who was aware of Chance's recent antics, shared them with an online acquaintance. The acquaintance in question would begin using the alias music video. Ah, here we go. This is the spark that got the ball rolling on what would become one of the most infamous trolling campaigns in LOL history. The online story of Chance Wilkins 
had only just begun. All right. All right. I like that, guys. I really did. I really did. All right. Uh, what do you guys think? Part two? We'll go into part two, and then uh, that'll probably be good for today. Because I really like that. I mean, right? come on. You can't give me peanut butter without the jelly. Now we're getting into music, Fizz Marty. Oh, I really need to. I really need to. I really need to see that. Uh, future decoys, be female, be like you like the music, the research. Yes. I, I, I agree, Chibi. All right. Let's, let's go into part two. Because that's, you know, that's good. And then probably after part two, uh, that'll be it for today. But like I said, if you guys like this uh, documentary, there's a lot more videos. Uh, I am happy to keep going with them. Uh, the original channel is in the description because I try to make sure to do that. To shout out the channel, to shout out the uh, to them, to subscribe. You know, because they did put a lot of time and effort into it. And I really am getting, I'm really into this. This is really cool. And this is when all the uh, stuff, you know, uh, this is when this all starts to... Uh, you know go crazy so guys like it up and like i said if this video does good uh, goes good uh more of this uh documentary because i feel like it's really needs to be said from begin to end to end not end to end where cyrax was how he came to be when he started streaming how sally his grandma took care of him what happened in that house with the fire what happened with rupal you know, this way everyone knows everything and we'll go from there. All right, guys, I'm going to uh, put the speed up a little bit. And yeah, thanks for being here and let's get into it. The ghost captions on. That too loud. At some point in either November or December of 2018, Music Biz Marty's fictional Ram Ranch Records would begin competing with another fictional Ram label Ranch. called Bender Boys Records. The two labels fought a tough battle to secure Chance's contract and kickstart his musical career. It should be noted that Marty's record label was named after an explicit homoerotic song by Grant <laughs> McDonald, a <laughs> reference put in place to poke fun at Chance's perceived homophobia. Oh On my God! Tenth, the Bender Boys would secure victory. I mean, yo, you gotta, you gotta give it to Marty. You got to, you know, even if you don't agree with the cow tip, it, it's just the 4D chess that Marty does. I mean. Marty, Marty, all over, all over, bro. You are just, like, it's just, who thinks of that? <laughs> I'm going to do that because, you know, because <laughs> he doesn't like gay people. It's just like, my God, like, I love that extra thinking. It's, uh, I, I always respect that, and I respect that, bro. I really, really do. Amazing. Victory by finally signing Chance to a contract. Chance went live to celebrate, dressed in a jacket and sunglasses. Rupal is he a weird finally name. finally made it. Ah, oh, here we go. <laughs> Eating, drinking his sludge. Yo, he put on like a members only jacket, these glasses, thinking that he hit the big time. He imagined the actual independent guy before was more to reality and a real music um, label than this bull crap. <laughs> he had to go online and think he's big Cyrax, but you know, let me, let's hear what he's got to say. What up, y'all? Did you buy Cyrax in the house? Shout out to my motherfucking brothers. Over at Vendor Boys Records. Shout out to the big homie CPN. Shout out to play Ninja. I figured I'd just come in, kick it with y'all. Figured since I'm making it big time. Big time. May as well rock the swagger to go with it, boys. Yeah, he's Shout out to the Bender boys. What's good, he bro? Does. Shout out to BBR. Bender boys records. What's good? I figured I'd come in, celebrate, kick it, chill. Got a brand new dope ass track dropping with some of the homies, like the big homie George. Five days later, on December fifteenth, following the release of a new music video. The Bender Boys would contact Chance to advise him that the video had not performed as well as they had hoped. Due to this, the label made the decision to sell Chance's contract to none other than Music Biz Marty. Oh, God, Chance, of so course, funny. did not take this well. Yo, Cyrax. 
I got up, an announcement to make. What's up, dude? Um, well, the video's not doing as well as we thought it was going to. Yeah. And uh, speaking with the, the, the team here at Bender Boys Records, um, they deemed you unmanageable. How? And then... uh. Because you don't make your own content, you sing over over the people's. How? We had to sell your. We had to sell your contract, man. Wait, what the fuck? Are you serious right now? Yeah. Are you? No, dude. We sold it this morning. What about that shit? Are you fucking serious right now? Yeah, the video didn't perform as well as we thought it was going to. Fuck, dude. Are you fucking serious? I put in all that hard work for nothing. Are you serious right now? I sang over other music for nothing. Well, we we, we sold serious? we sold the contract. Bro, you're fucking stupid. <laughs> you're stupid, man. <laughs> what the fuck, man? I put in all that hard work for you and the crew for what? What the fuck, man? Well, we I sold we I sold your contract, you. so you're you know still what? signed. You know what? Fuck you, and fuck the Banner Boys. I'm doing this shit on my own. Fuck you! It should be noted that the two incidents I've just discussed have also been said to have occurred in early 2019. Due to the fact that I could not verify this with specific dates, I chose to use the 2018 dates which I found were attached to the clips. On December 23rd, Chance filmed a skit with his dog Bandit, in which the pet speaks to Chance in what was intended to be a Jamaican accent. Oh hey, God! Boy, what are you doing? Luna, you down business. That's what I'm doing. <laughs> Why, Cyrex? Why? And don't. Why do you always go to be filming me? That shit's getting annoying. For real. Good damn. Freaking humans. They don't know when to stop filming their own dog. <laughs> His face. I must be seeing things or hearing things. You're a dog. You're not supposed to talk. Oh yeah, well neither was that rich, but you don't see me complaining about a dude. On January 3rd, Chance uploaded another skit in which he argues with his so-called clone. Chance insinuates that he may have homosexual intercourse with himself. Hey. What? Hey, what's up? Who the hell are you? I don't know who are you. I don't know, I asked you first. No, I asked you first. No, I asked you first. He did this in 2019? This is like a 2008 style video. I mean, you know, like just this, the, the type, the style. But 2019? Whatever. You this looks like first. a Simpsons character. First. Whatever. Who the hell am I? Who the hell are you? I don't know. I asked you first. No, I asked you first. <laughs> Sound no, like Schwarzenegger. Yeah, right. No, you didn't. Yeah, I did. Whatever. Kiss my ass. Go to hell. Fuck you. Fuck you too. Sorry, not gay. So, yeah. I'm not gonna fuck you. Well, you never know. You might be. It was Whoa. The first time for everything. You never know. You might be. It was the first time for everything. You know what? Now that Blind Billy situation makes a lot more sense. And then even those audio clippings that are on my channel of him saying he thought he was bisexual and stuff still makes a lot more uh sense now because but to me my opinion cyrex seems like he's like an up for anything type of guy Wait, are you gay no just saying it's first time for everything on february 22nd chance used computer application band lab to create a violin based cover of i will not bow by rock band breaking benjamin now okay. i'm going to be doing something a little bit different today something that not a lot of people know i can do and i'm going to be doing a violin style cover of a favorite Breaking Benjamin song of mine. Oh yeah, let me just uh, fast forward that because I'm sure it's, it's copyrighted. Ugh. God, this sounds awful. On February 24th, two days later, tragedy nearly struck the Wilkins household when, during a violent storm, a tree was knocked over and nearly struck the home. Oh, wow. Well, nearly doesn't mean it did, but, you know. Chance would go on to claim that he was nearly killed in the incident. Of Upon course. the tree, Chance nearly manages to fall into the large hole left when it fell. The tree that could have taken my life last night. 
don't mind this Honda right here. Nice Honda though, not gonna lie. But as you can see, here's the trunk. There's the hole, like look at how deep, whoa. On March 22nd, Candle Smith, a woman who Chance had stalked and harassed in the latter half of 2018, went live on her Facebook to make some shocking allegations about Chance and warn others to keep their distance from him. I got something to address to all those mothers out there. All you mothers out there that have young, young children, be warned of this guy named Chance Wilkins. He'll jack off on your children. Not only that, he'll sit there and jack off on video chat with them. He'll sit there and threaten to kill your children if they don't sleep with him. They oh, God. And again, I, normally I would say, oh, you know, without proof, you know, that's allegations. But unfortunately, I have seen the proof. This guy will send whack off pictures, whack off videos. He doesn't care the age. I've seen him do it, unfortunately. So, like I said, I can attest to that. He does not care. And he always asks women if, uh, if, if they have kids and what do they look like. Did he see pictures of their kids. So, yeah, um, in my opinion, allegedly, I can believe uh, what this person's saying about this. They will do whatever they can. He will literally Goodbye hurt horses, you. horses, exactly. <laughs> this man is psychotic. He's dangerous. Women, be warned. His name is Chance. Will yeah, Breaking Benjamin's a, uh, a good man. Uh, two plus, I agree. Wilkins. If you want his link, it's right there on the the uh the description, whatever you want to call it. Y'all need to get this motherfucker off the streets. You need to get this motherfucker away from your kids. He lives in Akron. For all those out there that knows him, that knows that I'm I'm telling the truth. Women, mothers, please, by all means, get your children away from him. Mothers. He's a pedophile. He's a creep. He's still harassing me. He's threatening to beat my ass. You women need to really watch your children, especially in Akron. I'm not kidding. This man is dangerous as hell. Stay the fuck away from him. On an unspecified date, seemingly sometime in April or May, Chance would begin dating a woman named Heather Kraut, who had seemingly abandoned her children to move in with the Wilkins family. Wow. Like, wow. <laughs> I mean, I hate to be disrespectful, but like, you abandon your kids? For Cyrax? Like, why? Like, <laughs> like, why would you do that? Dude, that is some crazy ass, like, you know, like, like, uh, X-Files. Like, <laughs> like, why would you do that? I'm going to abandon my family to be with Cyrax so he can mentally and physically torture me. Like, okay, go along with your bad self. Heather, as well as their relationship in general, would become a major focal point of the early trolling campaigns. In May, Ed, the man Chance refers to as his stepdad, made hey, an appearance Matt. in a video posted by oh, Chance. Oh, hey, Kyle. Note that due to Chance's appearance here, it is possible that the clip is actually from sometime in 2020. Ooh, nice picture. But due to the fact that no specific date is attached to it, I'll include it here anyway. You all right? Yeah. I mean, look at that head. Look, I mean, it's shiny. There's no... Hey, besides that, there's really no scabs. I'm just pointing it out. I don't understand. This is like, what did they just say before? 2019, 2020-ish? How do you go from this to where he is in 2024? But I know about 2022, 2023, the scabs got real bad. But like, what do you think happened? It looked like literal acid fell on his head. Like, really? The following month. Heather would join Chance in creating and posting a PSA for suicide awareness, in which Chance simulates hanging himself as a result of cyberbullying. I'm coming with- What? Why would you- Oh, oh God. I mean, I hate that I would have to explain to these people why that's a bad thing. Oh my God. No, don't, no, no, don't simulate anything. You can just say it sucks. You don't need to- this, All right, it's time for the visual aid. On a serious topic today. Today, Jeez. we're, talk we're going to be talking about suicide. And suicide happens mostly among I your young dogs adults between too. the ages of <laughs> 16, 25, 26. I your grandmas. Due to bullying, cyberbullying, abuse at home, <laughs> boyfriend, girlfriend abuse. And for those of you that are going through that, we want you to know that we got your backs. And for those of you that don't know the signs of cyberbullying or anything, like hopefully this film does, you know, show that to you um i definitely had fun doing it because you know i've you know gone through that she's gone through that so it's definitely a very serious topic for the both of us but uh with that being said we hope you guys enjoy 
Dwayne killed himself. Yo, why is it always people that, I mean, I shouldn't say it, but they had, like, no, like, tooth there. You know, it's almost like I was watching, uh, I watched a deep dive into that crystal station, and wow, wow, uh, wow, that's all I can say for now. But, like, uh, her boyfriend, husband, uh, Crystal, her, he reminds me of that guy Sneaky Pete from like the Walking, uh, from Breaking Bad. But he has the same type of like no tooth in the middle. It's just, uh, it's I just find that fascinating. It's like same spot. He, he hung himself in the closet. Now he beats his mom and he tries to control her. So what's next? Hide your Doritos bag, right, bro? <laughs> Um, Hi, your styluses. <laughs> you come tonight, and they'll know what real regret is. They will know what real regret is. They will be sorry for what they did. He's beating up with Diddy. Oh. <laughs> Whoa, 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 whoa. That's a huge bitch. Hey, man, you said it. Oh, my Not God. Me. Oh, no. Yo, is she gonna like, roll? he's so small. Is he like hanging on? <laughs> I hate to be so graphic, but is he like on a clothesline? <laughs> like, you know, like on a hanger? <laughs> She's gonna roll him out like he's a shirt. Oh, okay, 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 okay. <laughs> he looks like that every time. He's like, all right, I need to tell you the girls. They need to stop. They need to leave me alone. They are messing with me so much. <laughs> Why is every time Cyrax is, like, talking crap, he always has his eyes closed like that? Hope you are very happy. Yo, and by the way, do you guys see the size difference between these two? That was his girlfriend? Man, Cyrax needs a... a a lot of love in it. And again, if this is the one that, you know, mm, uh, you know, I'm not, tr <laughs> I'm not trying to be, but, you know, I just, just, I, I know it's the size difference. I can't hold back, but damn. You should be happy. On June 6th, oh, no, he survived. a new song entitled <laughs> Mind of Darkness, right? which was accompanied by an AMV or anime music video. Oh my god. Yo, it's seriously, it's like Shani and Rev. Like, that type of size difference. And apparently, like, Crystal and Leslie. They, I, I find it funny that there's so many of these people out there where it's like, the woman needs to eat a bunch and the, the boyfriend's starving, folks. Like, it's so weird, this dynamic. Like, I'm like, uh, what do you mean I can't eat? lunch <laughs> there's not enough like what <laughs> it, it's just the weirdest thing i've ever seen during which he confirmed he had broken up with abby he alleged that she had abused him leading to the relationship's demise yo she abused you yeah right <laughs> she abused she abused cyrax what's up everybody it's your boy chance um i know i haven't posted on this channel in the last six months um, and there's a reason for that, it's because I've been going through quite a bit. Um, as some of you may or may not know, me and Abby have split up. Um, you know, we're no longer together. She actually um, tried to publicly humiliate me on social media. Um, and that was like just a couple weeks ago and that that happened. Um, basically, I just managed to escape. Yeah, abuse that her and all my exes that put me through over the last several years. Yeah, I love that, you know. And, and Cyrax, listen, listen. If you're if you ever watch, I'm not saying that you know it's a perfect thing, but like it really takes two. Okay, you could say someone was a pain, but you gotta also throw in what you did in that relationship. It's not always just one person. People do get abused, but when people like you come out here and and 
is like I was a perfect angel. I was a perfect angel, but then she abused me, and I'm like, why are you abusing me? <laughs> is it because of my appearance? Like, it, no, it's it's because of what you do, man. It's because of what you do. Pete Elf. July 17th, Chance uploaded a video requesting that people stop giving out his address. I was unable to locate a video of this, but found the information itself vital enough to include regardless, as his address being public knowledge would lead to many problems in the coming years. It is also worth noting that Chance himself had doxxed himself multiple times in videos, which is the only reason anyone had the address in the first place. On the Yo, this is such a cow thing, and I'm not going to say who, but there's another uh, female cow that I know that basically doxxes herself in all her community tab posts, all of her videos. Why? Like, don't put out your information like that. That's stupid. You know, P putting out your own information and then saying people doxed you. Like, no, you doxed yourself. You doxed yourself, Cyrax. Like, it's just, it's really crazy how people want to throw that out. But when they're, you know, showing their house, their address, you can see the number. I mean, we have Google Maps now. It's really not that hard, you know. But that's just the, you know, the time we live, times we live in. On the 25th, Chance posted another new song accompanied by an AMV entitled, Welcome to the Shadows. The shadows, nothing of my own. Come another one, they don't know about me, they can't let you are all but I own. I didn't know your friends. <laughs> yeah. Three days later, Candle Smith faked her own death in an attempt to force Chance to leave her alone. Due to Kiwi form. Wow! Wow, my God, can you imagine, can you imagine, like again, I, I, I'm in awe of all this, like I've heard bits and pieces, I, I, you know, that's why it's great to have the chronological order, and once again, the, the description of where I got this video, of course, is, or it's in my description of where I got the video, but wow, can you imagine, this dude is harassing you so much that you have to fake your, your end, so to speak, to have this guy leave you alone. Shit. I'm sorry. I'm sorry you had to deal with that. Arms currently being down, as well as Chance's recent streak of striking down archive channels, <laughs> I was unable to find the video documenting his initial reaction to the information of her death. Yep. Months later, on October 4th, Chance recorded a video message for Paul Caston, who he also refers to as Boogeyman the Clown. Caston was a former boyfriend of Candles who hadn't taken kindly to Chance's behavior toward her, and Chance attempted to clear the air by justifying his harassing calls to Candles' landlord. The video has been lost, but the audio remains intact. He's starting to doubt and second-guess himself about, you know, the whole issue with Candle and whatnot. Well, Boogeyman, I can reassure you 110%, I had nothing to do with Candle's death. Yeah, he can reinsure you. So he's like, he's going to give you insurance again? He's just going to re-update that insurance. Like, I got, and I know a lot of people are sitting there saying, oh, well, you know, I called, you know, her landlord and this and that. And yes, that is true. But what happened was, like I said, and I've, I've explained this to you, when you spoke to me and you let me know that her landlord was talking shit about me, I confronted him. He thought I was her. And when he figured out that I was not her, he had me call him. He gave me his number. Whoa, what is he lighting? I mean, guys, I've never was under the impression that Cyrex smoked anything. Marijuana, cigarettes. So when I hear, uh, you know, and I'm just wondering what, or more likely, uh, you know, like, what is that? <laughs> I'm just curious. You call him. On October 21st, Chance took to Facebook to proudly announce that he had been signed to Juggernauty Records. He again went into celebration mode. What's up, guys? It's your boy. I am back. I know I ain't posted or done any live streams on here in God for fucking ever. For those of you that do know, y'all already know what's going on. For those of you that don't know, I got a little surprise for you guys. Thanks to the haters over on YouTube on my new channel, um, I got some exposure. Got I knew this guy wore glasses. I knew it. I said it in my one video. You know, you know how when people wear glasses that don't really like frame your head so well, you know it kind of gives like a weird impression like on your baggy eyelids, especially like if you, you know, goblin looking. I'm like, I bet this dude wears glasses and here you go. Hooked up with a major, major underground artist who just happens to be working with some big names in the industry. And he knows to say, guys, this ain't no joke this time. This ain't no bullshit. This ain't no games. 
Yo, boy, finally fucking made it. I finally got signed to a record label as of yesterday night, last night, yesterday night, whatever you want to say. Uh, the label is actually called Juggernauty Records. Dude, I can't believe he does. He thinks that he could be signed to any record label by sitting home. Cyrex, listen, <laughs> people are probably going to be mad that I tell you this, but you need to go to the damn record um. I mean, I feel like what an idiot you are, but you need to go to the record studio. I mean, or go to a con, a convention, learn how this works. You, um, music groups, music labels are not allowed to sign you if you've never played anywhere, like besides your bedroom. I mean, you got to play like, you know, your music's got to be out there for a while. Otherwise, it's called or considered unsolicited material and they cannot sign you. So unless you really are blowing up somewhere, they could say, yeah, come in for a meeting. But they have a meeting. They can't just sign you at your house. Like, God, what is wrong with you? 43? <laughs> um, no, they're not the Illuminati. They're different. Oh, you wore actually... those for dramatic effect. Yeah, thanks, Dirty Bird. <laughs> you know what? That, that makes a lot of sense now. Yeah, but they're a major, very well-known underground label. Um, by next year, I'll be performing shows, hopefully. Uh, my first album is actually a really interesting title. Oh, no, and those are Sally's glasses. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I wonder whose members only jacket was in that other video. Like, what is up with the glasses? Why does it make him feel like that, you know? Like, oh, yeah, you're a big time rapper now. Like, you're wearing your grandma's glasses. <laughs> I can't with this. It's called Weirdo from Mars. It's going to be super dope. Like, I'm super excited about this album, but when it's all said and done in sales, I Weirdo myself from will be Mars. looking at 20 fucking grand in cash. On November 1st, Heather and Chance were on a live stream together, and Heather, as she put it, trolled a troll with a prank call. The couple shared an uncomfortable kiss. Chance attempted to kiss her again, but the offer was seemingly refused. Diamond is so excited for you tonight. <laughs> <laughs> That's how you uh, uh, oh, oh. Man, man, all right, that's all you. This is the one that left her kids, right? Uh, to be with Tifuses there. A troll <laughs> fuckers. Got him. You know what I guess, right? Uh huh. Oh, fuck, the troll just got trolled. I know how to troll. Man, fuckers. that overbite. So, y'all fuck, y'all call me again for private numbers? I'm gonna troll the fuck out of y'all. Remember that. <laughs> yeah, it's not what's solid, man. Call me again and watch what happens. Look at his face. Yeah, nice work, man. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> Yo, you see that? Look, look at her. She was like, ooh. Yeah, I'm trying to. Happens. Yeah, look, nice. look at her. She's like, uh, uh, I guess. Sure, man. Yeah, pulls teeth at back. <laughs> ooh. Yeah, let's try that again, shall we? Hey, you try that again. She's like, no, I got hepatitis. Hey, if they call again. Hey, man. He's like, God, hold on. Oh, hey, babe. Day, chance to see the way he looks? Like, ugh, like, the way he looks at women. It's so cringe and gross. I hate it. The Music Biz Marty had started an online shop for Ram Ranch Records. The shop sold items bearing Chance's likeness, including hats. <laughs> it's a classic. I mean, come on, Cyrax. Okay. Even if you, you didn't think this was weird, you, you would lotion and a thong on and a hat like really really you really thought like, that's okay okay and alcohol flasks chance was not happy about this and thus went live to ask marty to take the shop down <laughs> what does that say <laughs> what does it say what loop flasks. chance was not happy about this and thus went what is it <laughs> fucking marty <laughs> Holy crap, I love that. Yo, Marty, you are, you are the goat, man. Holy crap. I mean, you know, just, Marty, I love the way your brain thinks, dude. Much respect. Went live to ask Marty to take the shot down. Oh, I gotta see it, Nolan. I definitely gotta see it. Marty, I don't understand why you're doing this. I don't know your reasoning. I don't know why you can't just leave me and my girl alone. Why? Why can't you leave us alone? You doing this sick shit? This is sickening. All I kindly ask you, man, is that you leave me and my girl alone and take down your shop, man. Please. I am begging you to take down your shop and stop all this.
Yo, please, please say get to get the pictures of me holding an anal loop with tongues <laughs> and and what is it? Uh, hat trucker hats and, and uh, what the hell? What was it? Flasks. Take take it down, especially the thongs. You know what? He probably was so homophobic because he he's bisexual. You know it allegedly, but it makes a lot of sense, guys. Right. You can run your record label, do whatever you want. That's fine. That's whatever. But leave me and my girlfriend and our kids alone, please. Oh, so God. You're degrading me. Your kids? Yo, another one. Another one with this. Okay, Rev. Your kids. If you're not married to the woman and you didn't adopt them, they're not your freaking kids, number one. Number two, uh, in the beginning, the guy said, I guess Ernie, he said that she left her kids to be with you. But now they're your kids? I, I, I hate people. It's ridiculous. Ridiculous. Come on, man. That is so just not cool. They have a dad, and that dad was taking care of them at this point. But go ahead. Use, the, use children for a shield. Expect nothing less from a goblin. You're ruining my image as an artist, as a person. Hey, Jack. Well, I, I agree. Sleep. I agree. Every time I eat, I get sick to my stomach. I'm constantly scared for my girl because of you and your goons. You stop, you take down your store, and you leave me and my girl alone, and we will not haul you into court. I will help you find artists if that's what you want. I will help you find artists. I have connections to several people. Dude, one of my best friends from high school is Matt, also known as PFD on YouTube. He's one of the best fucking rappers in the world. Why does he always have to have his eyes closed when he's talking? <laughs> I love it. Days later, Chance got on panel with the Bender Boys, as well as Music Biz Marty, to perform a freestyle rap. Level two, bitch. You ain't on my level, little. Thank you, that's motherfucker. Fit and sit at home. Go and cry to my feet. Before I punch your fucking lights out. Like, my name is motherfucking Mike. <laughs> what the hell am I watching? Man, yo, this was, you see, this was some great A trolling. I mean, really, it's, guys, chef kiss to all of you. This is great. <laughs> He's smoking pot. <laughs> Close the eyes, lies. I agree, Blaine. I agree. On November 10th, Chance would be questioned on his lack of juggalo knowledge live on stream after being called out for being a fake juggalo. It didn't go very well for him. I'm starting to get a little bit concerned. Yeah, and I always say my, uh, uh, my, my favorite uh, ICP album's got to be uh, the, the Great Malenko. Or what a lot of people would call the, what was, that was the uh, last Juggalo card, if I'm, uh, if I'm mistaken. Or, I, I believe, you know, with Halls of Illusions. That, um, our community is starting to bring in so many outsiders. And I'm going to go ahead and say this right now to everybody. Stop bringing hey, Christy, in non-Juggalos to this shit. And I'm gonna go ahead and name a name right now. Cyrax. I'm sick and fucking tired of hearing his fucking name. Cyrax is not a juggalo. Go ahead and I swear to God, you can quiz him on anything and he's not gonna get any of that right now. I was just curious, what, what album did you, what was your first album that you got into the clowns? Well, believe it or not, dude, it was probably, I'm trying to think. I want to say either Jekyll Brothers or Riddlebox. I can't remember which one it was that I got into. So, really what, what did the cover look like? Really, dude? You're gonna really pull that shit, bro. Are so you if it's that you're uh, 29 and you were born in 90. Yeah. So the Great Malenko came out in 1998, which means you were only eight years old at that time. And the uh, riddle box was before that, right? Well, actually, uh, he's close. Uh, 1997. But they recalled it because if you guys didn't know, ICP was under Disney. Uh, you know, a, well, a Disney subsidiary company, but it was Disney, and then they recalled it. So I think maybe '98 was the reissue. So, but that's how far back I went with it. But it was a cool red cover, got a little, I think, a bird on it, and some sort of a wand. But yeah, that was one of my favorite, uh, favorite ones. You know, just getting into that world. 
So yeah, chances are you came in with something that was more current yeah, for your time was, period. Yeah, but see, this is what happened though. I was introduced to the older stuff before the newer shit. What's your favorite song on that album? Do you remember? <sighs> nah, dude, I haven't listened to that album in a while. I have to go back and fucking listen. All right. What are you getting out here with this shit, dude? Like, what I, you... I, I was just curious, man, because, like, you know, the Juggalo community means a lot to me personally. Oh, yeah. Yeah, and I mean, I'll just like to add, like, I don't even consider myself even Juggalo. I was a fan of uh, ICP. Uh, Great Malenka was uh, my favorite album. Uh, Halls of Illusions was my favorite song. I liked Hocus Pocus, but Halls of Illusions was great. Then they had Slash, I believe, on guitar, and I really liked that guitar um, riff. I mean, I always thought that that song should have been called the Great Great Malenka because they they sing that part in the chorus, you know, in the chorus. But uh, even me, I'd be like, well, yeah, Great Malenka, Halls of Illusions. For him to be like, uh, what are you getting at? Yeah, I hate poser like people, but I think Cyrax. It seems like he gravitated gravitated towards that for the culture and uh, Juggalet women. Oh fuck! No, I completely forgot. Not too late now. That's okay. So, like, believe it or not, the one artist that actually got me into him. It really At this point, an individual seen in the previous clip called Jamie Nicole would become a central figure in our story for the following nine months. Jamie's live streams would soon become the main source of chance-related content. The first panel hosted by Jamie that I can yeah, locate <laughs> comes from November twentieth. There are many things happening here, so I'll summarize the best I can before playing some clips. Heather had been embroiled in conflict with a man named Big Will due to the fact that Will claimed Heather was pregnant by another man. Eventually, uh -oh. Violent George, one of the Bender Boys, would enter the fray and question Heather about her children, as trolls had recently discovered that Heather had supposedly abandoned her wife and children to move in with Chance. Big Will would come into the panel and berate Heather. Oh yeah, that's right, that's right. This is... The, yeah, yeah, that that was... Like, the whole thing is so damn odd. Like, really, I, like, just, she... Had a guy, had children with the guy, and then had a wife with kid with the kids, and then left all that to be with Cyrax. Like the whole thing is like what? Like it's really just just like like it's just a very weird timeline. Who would leave the stream and quickly return outside the house, this time without chance accompanying her. Upon her return, she was again berated by Will and promptly left. She would eventually return, this time inside the house, with chance throwing things around the room in anger just out of view of the camera. Music Biz Marty and Maximum Overdose from Juggernauti joined the stream at this point. Chance was soon called out by George for his 2012 arrest stemming from the assault on Sally and attempted to address it. During the stream, Maximum Overdose challenged Chance to a rap battle, which Chance refused, saying he would do it tomorrow instead. Siznak, another bender boy, then joined the stream. Chance was asked by George if he had ever had a job, a question which he did not answer. These streams are often lengthy and contain a lot of bad audio or people talking over one another, so I compiled relevant clips the best I could for the Jamie panels. Big Will. What happened? You know the you know the reason. I, I have, yeah, yeah. I'm trying to figure out yeah, what yeah. happened because him back on here. I want to tell him face to face. Okay, that's why I was trying to get you on here while he was on here. He's saying he heard you were pregnant by a black guy. I don't know where no, that's no, 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 let me tell you. Last year, I mean not last year, last month, I got I got raped. I didn't end yeah, up. Yeah, you told me that's not cool. I got raped by a black dude, but I didn't end up pregnant at all. Oh, it's Violent George. So I want to speak to Violent George. You guys, you, she's calling you vendor bitches. I don't know what. Because I'm mad y'all keep bringing my kids in this shit. My well, kids are white. Why did you abandon them? I did not abandon them. My wife. You know, and I'll just say that, like, she could say her kids are off limits because they should be off limits. Uh, they don't need to go into. I don't, this guy's not see, sounding like to me that he's going into the children particularly, but more into why did you just abandon them to be with Cyrax and to be in this YouTube internet drama crap? Hold on, let me explain something to you, dude. No, shut they the fuck up. I'm done listening to you. No, talk. listen, 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 listen. No, fuck you. Yeah, no, listen, fuck violent, you. violent. Shut the fuck up, listen a little bit. Fuck hey, you. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Shut the fuck up. Your mom some more, you fucking coward. It, it, <laughs> see, that was that was great. You know, it's like Cyrax comes, you know, comes in hot and heavy. Like, oh, shut up, shut up, shut up. And this guy just won't let him do that. Won't let him, you know, attack him the way he attacks those women and, and his grandmother. Uh, but he, I love that. He throws that in his face and he knows. He The goblin knows that he's caught. But let's hear what he has to say about that. 
Oh another? yeah, bitch! Oh yeah, bitch! You want to run your mouth some more? Bring it on, you fucking cum gutter slut! Hey, hey, Will! Oh, wait, oh, Cyrax! Shut the fuck up! Nobody, minute, nobody, nobody spoke your name, bitch. Until you you're talking, you, shut the fuck up like a bitch you are. You, you, you little bitch. Hey, hey what's the matter, little bitch? You just pissed off because I own your ass. Hey, I hey, hey, You own me? No, no, no. We own you, bitch. For the reason you have sub. Get used to it. Chuckanati Records owned you. Bender Boys Records owned you, bitch. Fuck you and then your voice record. We right. all own you, bitch. Without <laughs> us, you have a hundred stuff and nobody cares. Whoa, yo, you see that? I mean, I mean, I can't really even get into it. But sorry, when 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 somebody does this motion, that means they are worried that something's coming at them. I mean, just check out, check it out. Own you, bitch. Without us, you have a hundred stuff and nobody cares. Yeah, she was worried that he was gonna. You know, maybe allegedly hit her with something the way he did to his uh, grandma Sally. Jamie, take that comment off the screen because I can't see my phone. All right, okay. Okay. Oh, hey, hey, how you doing? Can I talk, please? Oh, you can speak when you're spoken to, bitch. You can speak when you're spoken to, like a calm gutter slut you are. What do you got to say? Say so. First of all, I'm going to respect y'all. There you guys go. Get some shine. Oh, uh, what do you want, Heather? What do you got to say now? You got something else to say, bitch? Go eat another pizza, bitch. Calm down. Bitch. Really. Calm down. No, no, Calm no. down. I like Heather. Heather's a sweetheart. What's up, Heather? Did Cyrax hit Max, his mom again? Fuck up with that bullshit. <laughs> Stop. She was talking shit about me on their live stream. I'm, is, I'm is responding. Is he gonna hit you? You better not hit her. What's up now, Heather? I mean, you know, that's just a good, you know, food for thought. If people have hurting their grandma. In, in a court record, hurting their children, abandoning them, not feeding them until the face turns blue or purple, stuff like that. They should not go online and start talking crap like they're all hot poop. You know what I mean? Because there's just cold diarrhea. Like, for real. Some people, they just don't, you know, they just do this stuff thinking that they can get away with it. When people finally find out, well, what about this court document? They're like, uh-oh, damage control. Say Can so. we address why they're talking shit on me when I did nothing but show them love? And I told you to say that. If Cyrax no. hits Heather, I'm going to He's fire throwing them. stuff around the room. Yeah, we hear hey, them over there. Where's your kids, Heather? Stuff. Where's your kids? That's a good question, Will. Very good question. Hey, this is a good question. What do you got to say to me, dude? Look at What's his your shoulders. Your bitch, bitch, he you be running your mouth and your girl be running her mouth. Uh, it's right, it's gone thing, too dude. far. All right, so here's the thing, dude. Listen. I already explained to y'all several times. One, I do not hit my mom. That was oh, it. really? You know, and I learned from that shit. But you Second, did do it, right? Yeah, but, yeah. Dude, there was a court document. You would think if these guys already knew about that from 2012. And this is like, what, like 2020, I believe? 20, late 2019, 2020? Um, how would you say that? You know, I feel like, all right, you guys saw the court document. So you can't turn around and say you didn't do something. If, you know, I mean, charge is one thing, convicted is another. And it seems like you were convicted of that crime. But since you're a 43, they just let you out. That's in the past. Accept the, the, the rap no, battle challenge right, from so maximum right, so overload right now. All right, hold on, Will. Hold on, Will. Explain the battle, dude. What's up? If you lose, you come back to Juggernauty Records. No questions asked. <laughs> All right. Tomorrow. Deal. Yeah, All right, what deal. are your plans, plans to do with this? We're doing it right now. We're doing it right now, right here. Nah, dude, we're doing it on my terms. No, no, we're doing no. it right. Cyrex, you're, you're pretty good at doing off the top of the head rap battles. Cyrex, so like, Eminem can come please. back the next day and be and say, let me prepare for it? No, hey, Marty, life comes at you fast. Martin, shut up. Hey, Cyrex, right? when's the last time you ever had a job? Hush. Never, right? never, never. He had one with never, never, dude. You're a loser. And a piece of shit. You're a piece of shit, dude. Two days later, Chance and Heather would be swatted while live on panel. This was attributed to Jamie, who was- Wow, okay. Uh, it's just that Chance had been physically abusive towards Heather. So, I mean, I can understand why he thought that. I'll say that because when Cyrax went away and you saw Heather, she did have a look. She backed up. She backed up. Like, either she's, you know, this has happened before or she knew that some was going to be going coming her way and she did back up. So I could, I could see... The trajectory of why someone would think that, but, you know, well, I think a wellness check is better than a SWAT. Swatting is the act of contacting police with fabricated or exaggerated information in order to bring about an armed police response to a person's house. Moments prior to the swatting, Chance and Heather were on panel with Jamie through Heather's phone and simultaneously on another panel through Chance's computer. An argument between Jamie and the couple can be witnessed firsthand. 
Chance would then briefly discuss his ex-girlfriend Abby with members of the other panel until a knock was heard at the window. This was the first instance of many of Chance being swatted by trolls or swatting people himself. What's the matter? You know the truth, you fucking crap whore? Wow, i never seen this. Because okay. That's funny, he's talking crap and he has no idea. I swear, he looks like a hand puppet. Part of the shit, Jamie. And yo, we, we, don't you know we all see those fucking needle marks on your arm for shooting up? I know Wicked, I know Wicked, Madhouse, y'all remember my ex Abby, right? The one that had that robotic oh, arm. Oh, Suplex is watching this shit. All right, so, oh, she, she, hold on, bro. She had a robot arm? Yeah. Bro, that's the reason why. No, the reason why, though, is because she tried to commit suicide back in 2013 Whoa. via train because somebody at her school was bullying her that bad. And at the last minute, she tried to get out of the way but couldn't get away fast enough and lost her arm because of it. I'm sorry, bro. Imagine getting a hand job from a chick with a robot arm. That shit would be awesome. <laughs> Come on, <laughs> dude. Uh-oh. Go upstairs. What's going on? <laughs> Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Cyrax, what's, what, what's, what's happening? You see, yo, that dude, he knew. He knew. There was a knock at the door. He And he knew. He knew. Yes, we just showed up, guys. Because police. Police. Yeah. police. Saying that, <laughs> they said that I beat her. On November 26th, Chance okay. and Heather would again go on panel with Jamie. Jamie began by addressing... Go upstairs. Yeah, that, that, that is messed up. Go upstairs. Like, like, you know, hide in the closet. Like, what the hell? Have you seen the dark side puppets yet? Uh, No. No, yo. And her doing. I'll check it out. Kiki, a friend of Jamie's, would join the stream soon after. After Chance attempted to butt into the conversation multiple times, Jamie and Kiki requested that Heather go outside so that the three of them could talk without Chance present. Jamie brought up Heather's kids again and let her know that she had a spare room in her residence if Heather wanted to stay with her and get her kids back in her life. Chance soon came outside, seemingly Ugh. having been eavesdropping on the conversation, and That's proceeded teeth. to scream at and insult all three women. Heather left the stream and soon rejoined inside the house. And, uh, wow, 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 wow. Hold on, hold on. That's so messed up, you know, like she's like, all right, whatever Stockholm, uh, Lord of the Rings thing that you're, you know, live action role playing right now, you have kids, you have a wife that is probably worried sick about you watching you. You, you have this goblin living that you're living with and <laughs> you really need to get out. Hey, do you want to go back with the wife and kids? Fine. Stay with me. And maybe I could talk to you, you know, get away from him, and I could separate you. I see this woman, even if she was trolling, she was trying. I mean, you know, all credit where credit's due, in my opinion. But wow, those 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 ears, wow, that's just wow. All right, anyway, it just kind of threw me off there. She's trying, and what does the goblin do? Run outside, and <laughs> you know, I mean, <laughs> screams at both of them. Real nice, Cyrax. Good, good, uh, good, good uh, humanitarian you are. Chance eventually entered frame again and told Jamie and Kiki that the Bender Boys had threatened to kidnap Heather and an associate of theirs, Jeb that Lotan, photo, right? in Akron near Chance's home. Kiki and Jamie blew off his claims. Yo, when does the, the gum stop and the tooth begin? Led to Chance screaming at them again before Heather exited the panel. Violent George briefly joined the panel to comment on the situation. Man, yeah, I can see the vein on that one. Ow! Ow, yo, te I'm sorry. Teeth pain is is. Oh, uh, oh, nope. Oh, uh, oh. Uh. <laughs> Teeth pain is the worst pain to me, and uh Heather would later rejoin and advise the panel that Chance's house had been swatted yet again. At this point in the stream, a man. <laughs> I know, no, I know. He informed Chance and Heather that the swatting was Marty's doing and provided them with Marty's supposed real name for the first time. Did you see that video he uploaded on his channel yet? No, I thought the one where he was saying really bad things about me when I'm not the one who even called the police. Very bad things. Very, very bad things. And I was very shocked that he did because I really did not do that. And now even though there's proof of that, I, Those are I all don't good know why questions. he can't just apologize to certain people. Hi, Kiki. Hey, Janie. Hey, Heather. Hi. Hi. Um, can you walk in the other room or is he going like, to follow you? I mean, it's not. It's just, it has see, that is, that is, you know, abusive. She's got to be like, you know... 
and again, I don't know if this was a troll yet. I'm still learning as I'm watching. But do you have to go to the next room or is he going to follow you? Like, these are legitimate things. That's how you know somebody is legit being abused. That they need to walk away because, you know, she might say something wrong and then... Just saying. More Unfortunately. Like a, just a girl conversation. Yeah, we don't... And we can make this a list. No, no. We don't have to keep the stream up if you don't want to. We just want to talk to you, just girls talking. Oh, look, James, the only reason why I came to you was because Doc winked in them. It had nothing to do with Billy. It was mostly Doc winked in the nightmare. They were saying that you were the one that did it, which I found out it was fucking Rufus that made those calls. Well, that's why you shouldn't really believe things you hear without knowing the truth I know. first. I know, and like I said in that video, I do apologize for attacking you. And I will watch it, and I'll I'll talk to you about that later. I just yeah. really want to have a conversation with me, Kate, and Heather. Okay. So if like she can walk outside and smoke a cigarette, if, what we can want to talk to you about is how you feel now that you left and you're not with your daughter. Because it bothers me. To think I mean, I do miss her, but it's just like I can't. I can. I still talk to her every day. I know, but it's not the same. I know, but we're working on a whole custody thing. We're working on that. There's right downstairs. You could live for me and get your job back or work with me and have your daughter. And you would not have to rely on anybody. Well, that's the issue. I'm trying, like, there's a whole lot. That's not the main issue. I can't get them back. It's not that. It's just. I know you can get them back. It's just, do you want to be stuck there? I mean, seriously, I, I'm still learning the situation. But in my opinion, at this point, hey. If you want to get them back, you know, they're stuck there. If you want to get your, uh, get a job, get yourself back on your feet, I'll help you. I mean, what else can you give somebody to try to help them? You know, it, and again, and not to always mention Shani and Rev, but this was given, offered to Rev, Jason, uh, Shani's uh, boyfriend several times. What do you need to get on your feet? You need, you need a hotel? We got you. Do you need uh, another a way to get to work? We got you. Anything. And he was just always flat out refused. I don't get some people. They they want to be in the crap. They are so Stockholm. And, and it really is unfortunate. I don't want him to like follow you around and think like we're doing this to be mean to him. Yeah, Chris, yeah, I, I agree. You know what? You done fucked up, bitch. Get inside. No, you done fucked up. Uh-oh. Telling her all this shit? You done fucked up, you fucking cunt bag. Whoa! Whoa! What the hell, dude? What the? Look at her. She's like, what? No wonder why they said at the beginning, do you need to go in another room? And, you know? Wow. Cyrex, you're awful, dude. You are. No wonder why people. I mean, you know, besides the uh, other things you've done. Pito. But, jeez, man. This isn't how you listen, to how you talk to women. Why? Dude, you, you, I don't know about your mom. Obviously, so there was some alcohol drinking when you were born, you know, in my opinion. But your grandma Sally stepped in to raise you. What, what, what is this hatred for women? If it wasn't for Sally, dude, you would have been in a bad foster home. Heather, it's not is he calling you a cunt bag, Heather? I'm calling both y'all bitches cunt bags. Oh my god. Is. See, Heather? I know one god, have your baby there. I, uh, oh, that, somebody needs to call the police for real because now I'm definitely worried for her. She scared me. That scared no, me. I don't know. Yeah, hey, exactly, god. Trash Pia. Uh, trash Pia, what, uh, what happens? Like, they're talking uh, to the... This was Cyrax's girlfriend at the time who left her kids to be with Cyrax and, and her wife. And trying to... Get her to leave him at least, stay with her so she can help her get a job, get on her feet, and not have to be reliant on the goblin. And she, they said, you need some place to go privately to talk about this. And she's like, no, I'm okay. And then he came in and starts calling her, you know, derogatory names and stuff and ad homs and everything. Pissed off about what happened and you heard what y'all were saying and He's not abusive to talk to me like that, though, honey. That's it wasn't calling me a cunt bag. He was talking to y'all. Oh, abandonment, AJ? Yeah, yeah, I see you that. You want to know the bender was? They, they threatened to fucking kidnap her. That's why no. nobody threatened. No one's gonna kidnap her. How do you know I that? Don't know where that you came from? The bender was four blocks away from here. How do you know they ain't gonna do shit? How do you fucking know that? They're four blocks away from you. Doug Well John was four blocks away from here. Thanks again. Stop yelling, stop yelling. You need to chill the fuck out and stop doing that shit. Stop Heather, yelling. if you want a man like this to be around your Hey, Pete, you want to shut your fucking face? Is that how Cyrax is going to act when her kid is there? Yes. 
That's a very safe environment. Yes, thank you so much for sending the police out here for a third time. They will be tracing your number and getting your full name, and they will be coming after you for. Oh, I have. That is that's a good point. I mean, does anyone know? Did sorry, did her kids ever go out to see her uh, mom? Like the uh, wife drive over to, over there to have her see them, and then have that goblin around her kids. Can you imagine the way he t the way the he talks to her? With the way those kids would have to see him talking to their mom like that. Yeah, that is absolutely awful. Full name. Domestic violence shower. Just I have his full name. Off. I'll give you his full name right now. Really? Oh, yeah. He's done this to me. I doxed him and everything. I know. I have his address. Damn. Yeah, yeah. I, I got you. I got you. His real name is okay. Nicholas Beagler. On November 27th, Jamie and Kiki contacted Heather's wife, Jessica. No wonder why he always says that that's Marty. <laughs> live on stream to get her side of the story on Heather's kids. It's not, right? Living situation. <laughs> Heather had been telling Jamie that Jessica and her family had abused her and the children, and that she would soon be getting the children back in order to have them move into Chance's house with her. It's also worth noting that around this time, Chance had begun referring to the children as his own. Jessica and her mother, who was also present on the call, shot down these claims and asserted that Heather had left on her own accord upon meeting Chance online. Jessica's mother would also state that CPS had been called on Heather multiple times due to unspecified reasons. The mother would also reveal that Heather had other children that she had abandoned who were currently being raised by her sister and would- What the hell? So, okay, she has kids with, uh, the wife. And then other kids raised by her sister. And I want to be with Cyrax. Like, okay. Go on to compare Chance's appearance to that of American Dad character, Roger. <laughs> I see that. Chance and Heather <laughs> shortly joined the panel after the call to confront Jamie. Hello? Hey. Hi, Jamie. Hi, Jessica. Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Hey, so can you, can you clear something up for me, please? Because this, yes, it's been causing a lot of problems with a lot of people. Just because everyone's concerned about Heather. You saw, like, how Chance was attacking her and stuff. And I don't think that's okay. And I kept saying the baby shouldn't be there. If that's Oh, sorry. The case, and she's telling everyone that she's building a room for her and taking her there by Christmas. No, she's not. Okay, so there was never any plans on her coming to get the baby back. Nope. She left here for Bob's dead body. She left here that night. Did not even say nothing to Leah. And Heather's been telling a bunch of lies, um, and we've been concerned for. Her. Actually, the police have been called three times uh -huh. from this guy attacking her but um she told us you guys were making her sleep on a kitchen floor with the baby no. and um an okay hi okay, Danielle. Well, <laughs> she went to live with chance because she fucking wanted to so this was just the decision she made and just got up and left her job and yeah. everything Oh, wow. So it was more than just the kids and wife. She also had a job, too. <laughs> came home from work one day, and she had already decided what she was going to do. This guy's going around the internet telling everyone that's his, his daughter. Yeah. Absolutely She is my daughter. I am married to him. That baby has my last name. They're saying that wow. they're coming to meet up with... um. Jessica by Christmas time to get the kids to move in with them. <laughs> she ain't get, she ain't get to it. And I'm pretty sure her sister's not going to let her get Elliot after DHS was called last time. Yeah. Wow. I'm just going to say that is the worst type of internet trolling, internet clout, internet whatever you want to call it, fill in the blank. For yeah, we're gonna get we're gonna get the kids back, and yeah, we're gonna have our kid, we're gonna have a family. Like, dude, just, just, you know, at this point, if you know in your hearts that that ain't gonna happen, and you, if she really wanted to be with that goblin, have their own goblin kids. She's had DHS call on her three times. She had CPS called on her three times? Um, how could you just leave your daughter? And yeah, Bert, I had no state? idea of this. I not care. Same way she left her little boy with her sister and got pregnant and made this baby. And then she hauled ass up yonder to make another one. Like, Roger the alien. Roger the alien. <laughs> <laughs> the mom said yep. this. Oh, God. What up, Big Will? Oh, hey, Heather. So why did you lie to everybody? I didn't lie to nobody. So your wife and her parents are lying. 
because somebody went back and fed her some lies. That's no, what that no, is. No, 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 so no. Who, Don't even who's dare. Who's the liar here? Who's the one lying? You decided to leave your daughter, or no, I did not. Oh, you there he is. There, there he is. There's a liar. Here, give me this. My sister can attest this. I, since you want to attest to them, sis, am I good here? You are such a fuck boy, dude. Get in here and talk. I'm right here, bitch. What you gonna do? Yeah, what what's you, up, get dude? in the fucking camera view. Y'all talk to my sister. My sister can tell you I'm not a bad parent. I don't give a fuck about your sister. You speak for yourself. Why no. you <laughs> I want to know why you, you told hurt. me that you hey, had to get, you were getting back kicked out. Why'd you stop being a backside little bitch, Jamie? I, I I like this Cyrex out, out of the side corner talking crap, dude. She, you guys are saying that you were gonna get her kids back, and like that, you know, you got one pair of kids somewhere else. Uh, you got another pair of kids with, with your with your sister. Like, damn, you left her job, full time job for this this thing. Like, you know, you sh there's some questions to be answered for sure. Are you fucking retarded? I'm trying to find a way to Are you stupid? On December 14th, Chance and Heather joined Jamie's panel to attempt to explain a recent trip they made to Mississippi to attempt to get Heather's children. The attempt was unsuccessful. Eventually, Jessica, Heather's wife, joined the panel and an argument ensued concerning court battles over the custody of the children. Jessica also claimed to have filed charges against Chance due to a slanderous video he had posted about her. Music Biz Marty was also present for this interaction. When did you guys leave to go? Monday night. On uh, Monday night? Oh, we were about to go down there or come back up here? To go there. Sunday her. night? Yeah, Sunday, well, night. Sunday night. We got there. What? Like Monday evening? Yeah. Okay, did did you guys tell her you were going there? You just didn't say anything? Cause... We didn't say anything. We didn't tell okay. nothing. Um, did, when you guys got there, did you go to the police station before you went there? Yeah. yeah. And they okay. gave me a number to call, and I called that number, and they said they were going to send someone out, but there was a big old miss. Oh, thank you. Uh, uh, Burr Cocaine, welcome to, uh, uh, welcome to the channel. Thank you for becoming a member. I appreciate it, bro misunderstanding they thought i said i was getting my stuff out of there but oh th so they thought you were going to there to get property yeah. yeah but it was a big mix up one of the police there as like you know to make sure nothing happened to my child just in case a yeah. fight broke out yeah. or something and what you mean why would a fight break out between the, the goblin or between something between you and your sister because she doesn't want you she didn't want you talking crap online that you're gonna get your kids taken back i love that i adopted the kids they have my last name well you know i, I guess she's married so different last name but my last name now but you're gonna get them back yeah sure okay and what did they tell you <laughs> when you told them that they what did they silly she like, doesn't well, know she said she never even talks to the police they said, well, we can't really do anything as a civil court. Oh, I matter. hope so, Bert. I hope so. take so. it up in civil courts. And after that, he got in his car and left. Wow. So she saw the cops out there. She stayed inside. Yeah. She waited till they left. And yeah, I know Crystal, Leslie. I heard yeah. of them. I saw a couple of documentaries. What did she do when she came outside? She, she was... came out huffing and puffing in a fit. Walked up that hill, up just screaming and yelling up to the car. Couldn't let. Wow, it. was she as big as you? Nobody <laughs> get a word in at all whatsoever. So she was screaming. She was like yeah. enraged. Yeah. Screaming. She was like, "You need to get off my property." No, I want to say, say this. I want to say this. I want to say this. My daughter has nothing to do with this. Okay. Let's have a conversation. Let me say this. This. Hold on, let me clear this. Why are you going around saying I put my hands on my kids? Why are you saying that? My sister can flat out say that I don't do that. I've been talking it, yeah, I guess you didn't do that because you weren't around though enough to do that. Is that your explanation for that? But still, like, not just one, two, or three kids, multiple kids, and you just walk away from for, for this. I, I'll, I'll never get that. I will never get that. Oh, she did not. No, she did not. Yo, Jesse, you want to say this right now, little girl? Those charges you got against me, little girl, will come back. I hate when he calls women little girl. It's just such a, you know. Pito. <laughs> it's just weird. You know what I mean? By you in the ass because I did. Those are false charges. Those are they false are coming after you. Those are not false charges. I showed them the videos. 
Those are. I don't have the video. I'm so, going to find you in court. You want you want a war? You got one. You guys understand that if you, you just, if you, if you keep right acting like this, and me and Pedro will see you in chance. In court. The following day, Chance was contacted by someone claiming to be Candle Smith, who was presumed dead for months up to this point. Music Biz Marty joined the panel to assert that Candle was most definitely dead and that Chance was being trolled. It was revealed during this stream that Heather was actually a longtime friend of Candle's. Okay, ah. Heather. Yeah, well, and let me quote Fati in because a Heather messenger thing. Because Heather doesn't look very happy right now. You've known Candle for Heather how Heather many Heather years? Heather. How many kids? Her. Since I was like 16, 17. Okay, I have the messages. You guys are not lying. You have sent them all to me. I've seen them. A lot of them are disturbing. Yeah. They're they're creepy. We got yeah. There's a lot of weird shit sleep. in there. Yeah. Jamie, and, we got woke up out of our sleep with this. Yeah. And she's literally saying she's going to she's on her way there to take you from that house to take you back to where you need to feel where you belong. So Hey, Dino, it's cool, dude. Don't worry, bro. But yeah, like, literally, even I'm confused. Like, even I know, and I can't admit this, that Vati had nothing to do with it. That we no, know. That, like, okay. nobody What about knows. knowing that she was alive? You guys don't know. Nobody knows who knows that she was alive and who wasn't. Well, no, like, he just, like, he just like said he didn't want to face jail time. So, right, like, as far as like you know, if you have my number, like there was very. We didn't know you had a cell phone. Yeah, I. The only, the only one that knew was like really outside of my family and a few very select friends, like Jordan. Like, there's very few that had the number, and one of those few was Candle at the time. Who is Jordan? Yeah, who is Jordan? Jordan <laughs> is um Journey's the Journey and Clown. Okay, come on, guys. You don't think that that's like an obvious. As, dude, I kid you not. We got woke up out of our dead sleep with this shit. Dude, and come on. Like... Three days later, Abby joined Jamie's panel to discuss her relationship with Chance, who was also present on the panel along with Music Biz Marty. They began to argue over whether or not she ever loved Chance, who threatened to wake his grandmother up so that she could confirm that Abby had indeed loved him. She was also asked about Candle and her supposed death. Big Will eventually joined the panel to berate Chance. What is right. it? it is her. I'm looking at her, you guys. This is really her. Oh, my God. Oh, my fucking God. Abby. Oh, Abby. Abby, I tried to get a hold of you. Like, did you get my Facebook message from, like, a month ago? Like, I swear, this is so... Like, I love this. This is just so damn interesting. It's like, I've had all these different Cyrex puzzle pieces throughout the years, but just to have them all kind of put together it's just so and i hope you guys are digging in too and like i said like if it, this gets good reception there's a lot more videos to this and i'm happy to go through all of them with you so i hope you're all having uh as much of a good time with this as i am please uh don't forget to like yes we did okay we wanted to um talk to you because yeah, we, we, been, we hear all this stuff all the time we yeah, want to know tough. what your relationship was like with Cyrex. If you guys are still cool, if you guys are not cool, what was the deal with you guys? I don't even know. I'm not cool with him. It's just I never was in love with him. That's oh, not okay. see that right there is where you're wrong. That right there is where you're wrong. You're oh, wrong. You flat, out, you flat out said right in front of my mom that you were in love with me. You flat out sat right there in front of her and said yes, it. No, oh, really? <laughs> I will bring her, I will wake her ass up and bring her down here to tell you herself. But we Ooh. heard all these weird stories and I want to get the actual truth from you. And not it's not you. too much of a sensitive topic. I mean, I know, I know it might be. I'm not, if you don't want to tell it, you don't have to. I just. It's a little sensitive. It's just, um, I was in a train accident like five, six years ago. Okay, so it was a train accident? It wasn't really an accident accident. It was a suicide attempt. Yeah, oh. Chance just said that he's got screenshots from Miranda from Abby talking about how much he was in love with her. This is the one with the one arm, right? Why did you guys break up? Well, it was mostly because of my parents. What was the stage? Yeah, why, the... didn't, why didn't they like Cyrex? They thought he was pretty weird. Yeah. What do you mean by that? Yeah, yeah. Like they know. thought that um <laughs> he wasn't good enough that he was... They didn't think he was human. 
I mean, you know, allegedly. It was like a drug addict or something. Huh. I don't think Cyrus actually uses drugs, but he can act rather strangely. <laughs> what do you think about his music career? <laughs> My sister did not like it. So why are you sitting here lying? Sitting there saying that you weren't in love with me when you actually were. What's up with that? I did nothing but treat you right. And my mom and everybody showed you nothing but love and respect. Your we grandma. Even helped your ass. We even helped yeah, I, well, we see how good you helped you, you, you treat her, right? I helped you try and get your driver's license. So how are you going to sit there and say that we didn't give a shit when we did? Explain that, please. And you know, like, I could just tell that, you know, yeah, with abuse victims, it's always like they they want to, but they're so afraid of him. And I don't know why. I don't know what he does when. I mean, I've seen a lot when the camera's on. Like, can you imagine what he does with the camera's off? Shit. Because your parents ain't nothing but bullshit liars, and you know it. Okay, I have a question. If you know about this girl, Candle. Yes, I did meet her. Um, we talked online a few times. Did you? Um, do you know anything about? If she is alive still, do you have any way of knowing? I the last time that she committed suicide. I'm gonna no, no, oh, wait. Okay, everyone Jeez. be quiet for a second. What's up, bro? Uh, I got something to say. Suplex, nothing against you, dude. Bro, champ, don't worry. Nothing against you. Hey, Cyrax, stop not. being a bitch your whole fucking life. You thought there was a record deal for you? You have not made no money off of anything, bitch. <laughs> oh, and uh, Marty, we called though. the cops 30 deep. Shut the fuck up. Said. It's true, right? No, you shut the fuck up. A day later, Chance entered Jamie's stream to ask why Heather... Man, did he, did he eventually get that, that, that tooth with the vein sticking out, ripped out? I mean, I don't think so, because that looks like it hurt. There had been blocked from her channel. Around this time, an online acquaintance of both Chance and Jamie, called Suplex City, who was also on the panel, was being trolled despite having done nothing to deserve such treatment. Chance attempted to compare himself to Suplex to show that he didn't deserve the treatment he was subjected to. Marty responded to this by bringing up Chance's prior abuse of his grandmother, which quickly angered Chance, who claimed that Marty should let the past go. Somehow or other, Heather got blocked on your channel. What? What do you mean? Yeah, she went to go post, she went to go some of the links. Oh my she god, you guys, are you serious? Yo, but don't you love that? That he wants to let the past go. Okay, but dude, if you forget the past, you're doomed to repeat it. And Cyrex, unfortunately, you have. With the whipping your thing out in front of every female that would want to see it, don't matter their age, with the uh, attacking your girlfriends, I mean, allegedly, attacking your grandma, not allegedly because I saw that court paper, like, and you keep doing it and doing it and doing it. And then, I mean, apparently you did it again recently, right? So, I don't understand about letting the past go. I mean, if you're talking 20-something years ago, but still, like, what kind of person attacks their grandma? A grandma, even though Sally has definitely enabled you and didn't help you out with, like, dermatology and physical therapy, she still took care of you. You could have been in a foster home, dude. Straight up admit, man, when I first started talking to Suplex, man, I made him start getting along, man. Me and Suplex, like, we found out that we're just alike in a lot of ways, man. Suplex is cool as fuck. How so? Like, he's got a lot of similar disabilities to what, you know, I've got. He's gone through a lot of the same stuff that I've gone through. I know exactly what he's going through with this whole being bored crap. I've been there. I've gone through it. Like, and it, it, it sucks. It really does. If he doesn't do I'm waiting for like the part in the story where it's like now Cyrax goes up into the attic because <laughs> like it looks like he was like in a regular room up until this point. Nobody does. I mean, I, I, no offense here, but I don't think like super, you know, and here's the difference to me at least. Like I've never heard Suplex say like I'm glad somebody's dead, even if she is alive. No, then that's dude, that's irrelevant to this whole thing. That's irrelevant to what's going on in the Suplex. When I see Juan, you know, I see me with being boy, like, I'm able to relate to that because I've gone through that. I we understand that. you can relate to it, but it's different when it's somebody that doesn't do anything. Like, I don't, uh, I'm sorry. You're, uh, sorry. We're talking ethics here. Um, yeah. Yeah. I don't think. Oh, my God. Oh, like, this is, I think this is when he gets upset. But, like, you know what? I just thought of something. Maybe it's when he has a girlfriend that they kind of, like, come on, man. Like, clean yourself up. Like, you know, take care of those scabs. 
cut your uh, beard, wash your face, take a shower, you know, clean your room. Don't be up in the dirty attic. Live in a normal part of the house. Like, I really, I mean, I, I don't know, but, you know, I'm just just guessing. Why are you Oh, boy. Look, Look Irax, you're taking this to a level that it doesn't need to go to right now. Marty, you're not how did your mother back in the nothing to do with her? Marty, don't start the ethics, crap, man. I'm saying, I'm Look, saying. Look, don't start the ethics. Let the past die, right? But look at him. She's trying to, like, hey. Uh, control yourself, right? Like control your temper. But just, just check that out. Let the past die, dude. How can you when you're still like this? Well, you you better better. Look at him. I'm telling you right now, boy. You better shut your mouth because you know I got history with your ass. You know I do. She's I'm trying. I'm I'm right. Right. You're not getting the point, though. You're not getting the yes, point. I'm you're the one's not getting the point, Marty. No, I'm you're, I'm you're, you're the one that ain't getting the point, Marty. You need to chill the fuck out, guys. Dude, you need to chill the hell out. It's all right. I'm not getting it. You're not getting how about we it. just drop this for right now? I don't see how a mother deserves to be hit for... So, like, what is he watching? <laughs> Funny. An online relationship on the ride. I know you're going to explode. Jessica's about to hop on your head. Marty, I'm telling you right now, dude, what I did, I did in the past. Yes, I regret it. Let You're it acting the same way. You're acting the same way. Yeah, right? Let it go and stop bringing it up, dude. For real. Stop bringing that shit up. It's in the past. I... Let it go. You don't seem to be let any different. Let it the fuck go, Marty, right now. Let it the fuck go. That's, That's all I'm saying. Past. That has nothing to do right now. So it seems to be in the present. Talk about that shit and let it go. All right. That's in the past. On December 20th, Chance took part in a friendly rap battle with Suplex City, live on Jamie's stream. Oh, here we go. Chance would talk over Suplex's raps repeatedly throughout this. Okay. What are they talking about? I said, what, you ready to give battle, brother? Yeah, you ready to get your ass roasted? You ready to, hand, you ready to have your ass handed to you, boy? Uh, oh, so we got... Here we go. Sorry, I'm telling you, boy, you can't fuck with me. You know fucking why. I'm the biggest motherfucker. Getting ready to drop these fucking bars on you. Sorry, you son of a bitch. Now look at you, you got fucking wrist now. Look at me. Look at me. I turn somebody, knock the fuck out of them, boy. You can't fuck with me. You know fucking why I'm the fucking champ. You know fucking why you can't fuck with me. You know fucking You're looking like you're saying you're a champ, bitch. You a chump. You ain't no champ. All you want to do is rest the fucking bullet club, man. Fuck the bullet club. It's motherfucking Agent Styles in this shit. You cannot handle anything that I fucking do to you. I will grab a pack your ass. Now my name's kind of a girl. I'm just adding. You cannot handle that or know whether you want to Coming to the underground, you better. What the fuck is wrong with you? Do you ain't even a motherfucking champ? You a fucking choke. What the fuck are you doing? Stepping into my zone. What are you fucking doing? Oh, oh, that's right. You ain't even in my fucking. Yeah, right, crispy. Them bars are hot. I don't even know you do. You can't even handle anything. You wanna mess with the best. Then you better be ready to oh, bro, I'm trying. Oh, don't I have the? Yeah, I, I should have the captions on. Yeah. The computer can't handle it. Sir, I'm telling you, boy, get the fuck stepping. I'm telling you, boy, you know what I'm telling you. I'm telling you. I'm getting ready to drop these fucking bars. Yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah. Ass boy, look at you. You got a ripping little wrist now. Look at you. <laughs> All right, now, sir, as I'm telling you, boy, you can't step with me because I am Alpha Omega. Look at me. I'm the biggest motherfucker getting ready to drop these fucking Yeah, I know, Bucky. It's just a bunch of F words. Fucking bars on you, little bot ass. Now, look at me. Look at me. I'm dropping on these fucking bars like no fucking buddy can't do nothing with the dick. Can't do anything. Look at me. Look at me. Look at me. And again, that's not because of appearance or anything. That's just because of what I just heard. I'm going to go cut it down with a motherfucking juggernaut who can't put a fucking end to you. I will put a fucking noose around you. Shit. Into your fucking gut. Cut you up from the motherfucking floor up. I die. Yo, did she actually think like, wow, this guy is so cool. I hope not. 
you you better send a step to the fucking them, day. yeah i agree no i agree Team, if you could highlight the comment official rap judge says suplex i don't see it suplex, suplex. by nose yeah never seen a yeah, battle this close it. in my life it's it's a terrible battle lighter. On December 28th, Chance and Heather again joined Jamie's stream to complain about trolls. A troll going by the alias Schmeckelcat would eventually join the panel and tell Chance that he should have thicker skin and expect trolls as thicker a live hair. streamer. As he was telling Chance not to let people bother him, Chance proceeded to yell at a commenter who made a trollsome comment. Chance informed the panel that he was going to school for music production. This was never confirmed. Oh, yeah, right. Marty inquired about Chance's father and his time spent in prison and asked if Chance would mind if he looked further into this situation. More on this later. Chance would also attempt to claim that his appearance was the main reason for the trolling campaign against him. Marty vehemently denied this claim. Those opinions don't mean, like, that don't mean shit to me. Like, you can think what you want, that doesn't make it true. All right, and that's why you should just let people say whatever they want, man. That's why. It, yeah, black it, people trolls are help trolls, them. bro. You're gonna have a ton right, of trolls. Right. You need to realize, as a live streamer, you're gonna have tons of trolls. Yeah, people are yeah. gonna yeah. Honestly, you like, really I need to have thick skin if you want to fucking be successful. Right, exactly. Yeah, and, well, and and more importantly, yeah, trolls are trolls. Uh, if they can't produce some sort of real receipts, then it's BS. But if they have a police report, you're on some sort of registry. You can't deny that. You can't deny police reports, legit police reports, but police reports nonetheless. So, like, and there was a police report for 2012. So, I don't know how he can not understand that. Like, that's, you know, everything else, you know, but when when women come forward, like, hey, this person was, uh, you know, uh, Pete and, and showed me their junk when they thought I was like a 15 year old or a 14 year old, and he just didn't care. I mean, that's also, um, that, that that's also evidence receipts in my opinion but here let's keep going folks we're almost done here thank you all for hanging out i appreciate it evan what's up for anyone who's just shown up please uh i uh, hope you uh replay and watch it from the beginning exactly and that's why right now you know heather's stepping away for a while i mean i get it like i totally get yeah, it like, you need to have to skin to be on the internet people are going to come in and talk a bunch of shit to you you uh, reveal it so people can read if you reveal because that, that's how they get their questions answered if you reveal that talking about your kids pisses you off okay so my son's not going to do you I think they're going to not talk to about your kids anyway if you if you reveal of the shit that pisses people off they're clearly going to use it to trigger you. I mean, yes, please, everyone, stop talking about green aliens. I hate green aliens. So please don't want to talk about the green aliens. Too many green aliens. I don't like them. So, I mean, right. and yo, a, Prison Mike, I'm telling you right now, bro. Fuck, it don't matter. It's so nice. Hi, Marty. I'm going to tell my kids. You... <laughs> he has no back because he's always fronted. No, Bert, he has no back because his shoulders are kind of, you know. <laughs> But again, that's just me take, making an observation. Yeah, right right that's always for it. That's good though. Bro. I, I like that. In the industry that I'm in, sometimes you gotta have a bit of an ego to get somewhere. What? In, how are you? Oh my god! How are you in the industry though? Dude, I'm going to school for producing. I'm learning from some of the actual good producers. I'm going to school for this shit, man. I heard you claim that your father served uh, 21 years for statutory rape. Yes, he did. Know. Okay, I don't want to call that into question or express, you know. Um, I, mean, I heard that before he said it, and I didn't want to say anything because it wasn't my business. Oh, it's not, it's not. I mean, I can't believe he admitted it. But yeah, guys, so Cyrex was going to Juilliard. You didn't know? Okay, <laughs> okay is there any way that, that we can look into this? Because if it was just another attempt to uh, perpetuate the most bizarre promotion, like it seems the like Candlesmith. Yeah, it was not a bizarre yeah. promotion in any way. Okay. What I spoke about last night was all real shit. That was in no way any kind of problem at all. That was just me genuinely speaking about, you know, yeah, right, Dave. how I was natural, you know, about my natural life, how I was actually born, what I went through. Okay, I don't think people dislike you for how you look. I think people... Well, even or not, you would that. actually be surprised that there are a lot of people that will go at that part of me. And that's why I was like, all right, you guys really want to know. Here's the truth. Here's why.
Later that day, Chance in Suplex City would have a shadow. No, that cat is not happy. <laughs> you know, <laughs> that 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 cat that cat is is not happy at all. That's just funny. <laughs> Boxing match over panel. Why? <laughs> the following day, Chance and Heather again joined Jamie's panel. Nothing of note happened during this stream, but I figured I would make mention of it since it was the final time the pair would interact with Jamie in 2019. Two days later, on the final day of the year, Chance would upload a video addressing pop singer and former child star Aaron Carter. This stemmed from the okay. trolls having convinced Suplex City to make a diss track against Aaron, and also supposedly having his house swatted. Chance apologized on behalf of Suplex and attempted to defend Suplex's actions. This message is going out to a very famous somebody that got attacked and swatted So over basically he only did this because Suplex did it. Hey Sarks, do you ever have any original thoughts of your own? The last week or so. Seriously. By the name, y'all know him as the younger brother. Uh, oh, Daniel, this is a documentary. Yeah, I'm going to be doing a documentary uh, as we go along on, on Cyrex. Because uh, I didn't know a lot of this stuff, uh, like, like the early stuff. So I figured, why not? And just share it with y'all. And like I said, I thank everyone for hanging out. Uh, I appreciate it. Um, Aaron, first off, I want to say huge fan of you and your family's work. So shout out to you and the Backstreet Boys. Fucking love you guys. Suplex City Vlogs is actually a very, very good kit. Um, the reason why he did that diss track on you was because of a group on the internet, on YouTube, and all over social media known as the Juggernauti. Now, you might not know who the Juggernauti are. They are a... Oh, really? <laughs> you know what's even worse? That he actually thought Aaron Carter uh, might have seen... <laughs> this video like you know the the hubris in some people man i swear to god cult group within the underground community known as the juggalos they think that they are the elite juggalos yeah and they basically treat it like a gang the reason that. why suplex did that this track on you is because they said to either do the diss track on you or they were going to have his house swatted the Juggernauti are very, very evil people. They bully people like myself and Suplex City Vlogs all the time. He's in his 20s, but mentally he's still a kid. Very much, very, very much like myself, but I yes. got the mentality. Arrested development, but yo, but he's got the mentality. You know, of an adult now from over time. And sure. the same people that threatened to have his house swatted are the same ones that had your house swatted, dude. There's a guy by the name of Static Beats and Maximum Overdose. Is that it? Is that it? Yep, 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 yep. yep. All right, folks, that is it for me uh, uh, today. But, yo, if, if you like it, uh, thank you so much for hanging out. Just let me know in the comments if you want to see more of this. And I have no problem showing you because um, I'm really getting into actually – I'm in the whole background, but uh, I hope you liked it. I'll see you in the next one. Please don't forget to like, subscribe if you're not. And that's it, guys. Remember, be kind to yourselves and each other because it's only the internet. See you guys later. Have a good rest of your day.